Ryan Diener, or Andino, the fifth-year senior from Fort Lauderdale, playing his final home game. He'll take on a Delaware State team he's intimately familiar with, uh, the Hornets that Hawks played just 12 days ago. Eastern Shore won at Memorial Hall, 62-56. to 56. A, a big comeback win for the Hawks. Dell State's 4-23 overall, 2-13 in the MEAC, which is dead last. They have already clinched that the final slot in the MEAC tournament. They'll be the 11 seed, no Florida A&M in the MEAC tournament this year. They're ineligible. The Hornets coming off a loss to Norfolk State on Monday night, 74-66. That allowed Norfolk State to clinch the outright. It's uh, probably closer to 15. We're glad you could join us on your Thursday night, everybody. It's the MEAC regular season finale on the Shore Sports Network and SFMSports.net. Hawks fans, improving reliability with new technology and upgrades is only part of Delmarva Power's commitment to customers. They're also helping customers save money and energy with tips, tools, and programs and help everyone reduce monthly bills. Just visit delmarva.com slash everyone saves for more. That's delmarva.com slash everyone saves. Delmarva Power, proud sponsor of Maryland Eastern Shore Athletics. This is Dr. Walt Gianelli, founder of Eurodoxin. We are here for you and all of life's little twists and turns. Sometimes you can't plan your route, but you can get back on track again. Our medical experts at Eurodoxin are here to care for you when you need us. Delivering the best urgent care, we've even been voted top provider four years in a row. Feel better, faster. Visit one of our six Eastern Shore locations today. Just walk in. No appointment necessary. Or check us out at Eurodoxin.com. Locations are open beginning at 8 a.m. every Every single day, 877-222-4934. The Courtyard by Marriott on Route 13 at Salisbury offers comfortable rooms and meeting spaces, as well as always superior customer service in a great location near the mall. Call 410-742-4405 and ask for details about their special Maryland Eastern Shore partner rates. The Courtyard by Marriott in Salisbury, an official partner of Maryland Eastern Shore Athletics. And proud to bring you this broadcast of Hawks basketball on sfmsports.net. In the Mid-Eastern Athletic Conference, success for our student-athletes isn't just measured by wins and losses, points on the scoreboard, or individual it's also measured by their performance in the classroom, in the community, and ultimately graduation. Our student athletes aren't just playing to win a single game. They're playing to win at life because games end, but life keeps on going. The MIAC, educating student athletes at the beginning of life. This is Maryland Eastern Shore Basketball from sfmsports.net. Back on the Shore pregame show, Maryland Eastern Shore taking on Delaware State in the Route 13 rivalry. The Hawks have won four straight against their rivals. Dell State had won 13 of 18 before. And the Hawk women pulled off the win earlier today. Fred Batchelor and company, 69-58 winners over Delaware State. Here is Coach Batchelor after said win. Uh, Coach Batchelor, 12-4 uh, in the MEAC this season. It may be a little closer than, uh, it, uh, than for comfort towards the end, but you picked up the win going into the tournament. Your thoughts? Yeah, I thought it was a tough game. I like the way we started the game, and uh, I thought we made the plays we need to make when we need to make them. You know, they never went away, and they wanted to continue to fight, and uh, I'm just proud of the girls. I'm proud of the way they took care of business, and it was kind of like kind of getting that monkey off our back is right. the way we've been playing, and so I, from here, I think it gets us back to, to the baseline of where we were all year long. 
By the way, you, you try to make me look bad by the way you dress. You're just, you're just decked out from tie, the handkerchief, to the UMES button. Holy mackerel. My mom, my mom would appreciate that. I know she's probably not listening, but she would appreciate that. She, she raised right. me well. So let thanks, me ask, Dave. Let me ask you a question about uh, Apollo. Uh, better players that, uh, that you have seen or played, your teams played against? Uh, probably one of the better players in the league. Yeah. I mean, in the history of my time here. Yeah, that's what I'm I mean, talking about. over a four-year period of time. Right. She's been a dominant kid. I guess that's why she's the all-time leading scorer in the history. Of, I don't think I've coached against another kid who's been the all-time leading scorer at their institution. Yeah. So I told her, I said, I've recruited kids to guard her with, with that in mind because she's such a dominant player. Yeah. We did very, we guarded her very well in, in the first quarter and first half. Yeah, you know, we tried to we tried to play with some energy and, and, and disrupt their, their tempo, but I thought the zone was good. I thought Kay did a great job in the zone of, of paying attention. She had one lapse, uh, but she's a beast to handle, and I was really, I was really proud of the way Kay, Kay, Kay played tonight, off the bench for once. The seniors had their uh, moments throughout. Kiari leading the way with 21 points. It's been kind of a rough uh, MEAC season for her, uh, up and down, hot and cold, but she uh, got blistering hot at the right time tonight. You know, I, I need Kiki to get hot at the right time. You know, Kiki's <laughs> yeah. probably, Kiki's the most dangerous streaky shooter I've ever seen, and she's, she. So and when she's hot, you know, I told her the other day, we were sitting down talking to Kiki, I don't know if you remember, but you hit nine threes in a game in your senior high school. And I remember that. You're capable of just taking the game over. So don't get frustrated with, you know, not making shots because there's so many other things she can do. But I'm glad to see her knock down some shots because that makes us so much better. Team. Who would I want to be our leading scorer tonight? I would have said Kerry. All right, well, Coach, we'll see you down in uh, Norfolk. Last thoughts before we talk to you again Wednesday for the NEAC quarterfinals. Thank, thank you, guys. Congratulations, Coach. It was down there. Fred Batchelor, after his team's 69-58 win, the Hawks finished the regular season 16-13, and the first winning season in 10 years, 12-4 and in the MEAC, second place, and uh, unofficially right now, um, we're still tabulating all the tiebreakers and the final uh, results, but it, it looks unofficially right now like the Hawks will play the winner of the 7-10 matchup. They'll play the winner of South Carolina State, Savannah State. Uh, those teams look like they're locked into the 7 and 10 seeds respectively, if my knowledge of the tiebreakers breakers are correct you know, the two teams that uh, Fred and company uh, dismantled yes. on this floor back to back games in early uh, February I believe they won those games by a combined uh, uh, 50 or 60 points so yeah. perhaps a chance to flex their muscles again right. and to the semifinals I, I think Fred will be, be be happy with that I'm sure I'm sure you don't want to see Delaware State again uh, three games in uh, you know, about two weeks. So uh, those two opponents, uh, if we play well, they're going to be in trouble. Amen to that. Let's take a commercial break when we come back. The men's game and opening tip-off. Final game at the Heights Center this season. We're bringing it to you next on the Shore Sports Network and SFMSports.net. <laughs> Pivot Physical Therapy is the leading provider of physical therapy and sports medicine services in the Mid-Atlantic region with over 270 clinic locations and providing sports medicine services to over 120 youth, scholastic, collegiate, and professional programs. Pivot Physical Therapy is in your backyard with locations in Salisbury, Berlin, Cambridge, Easton, and Seaford. Pivot Physical Therapy and Pivot Sports Medicine is a proud partner of the University of Maryland Eastern Shore, providing athletic training and physical therapy care to your Maryland Eastern Shore Hawks. The Eastern Shore is a perfect place to visit year-round. A gem hidden on the lower shore is the Henson. Located in the heart of Princess Anne on the picturesque campus of the University of Maryland Eastern Shore. The Henson is the perfect choice for campus visits, business trips, reunions, meetings, and relaxing getaways. Check into the Henson and we'll take care of the rest. Book online at umes.edu slash Henson. Train more than inner strength so i push myself that's why i serve in the united states coast guard i train with the best a team that shares my drive and commitment we collect intelligence guard our shores against drug smugglers and keep our waters because our nation expects more discover a future that exceeds your expectations learn more at gocoastguard.com 
Signs by Tomorrow is proud to be one of the founding companies of the one-day sign industry. Our services include banners, trade show displays, window and vehicle lettering, decals, name tags, logo reproduction, and real estate signs. We offer free estimates, design proposals, and on-site consultations. One-day service is available. Let us show you what we can do for you. Signs by Tomorrow. Call 410-860-0033 or visit signsbytomorrow.com. The flagship station, Maryland Eastern Shore Basketball, is WTGM Sawberry, Delmarva's Fox Sports 960. This is Maryland Eastern Shore Basketball from sfmsports.net. Back at the Heights Center, Maryland Eastern Shore and Delaware State, the regular season finale from the Heights Center, which means it's Sydney night. Brian Andino's final game in a Hawk uniform. 128 career game for him. He'll play at least 130 before he hangs up the jersey for good. 1,179 career points. That's 9.2 per game. The 10th most points ever scored by a and he is the lone graduating player tonight, so it's Andino's night at the Heights Center. Ryan Andino, and uh, no surprise, he is headlining the starting lineup for Maryland Eastern Shore tonight. This is Cliff Reed's crew for the regular season finale. Ryan Andino, 6'2", graduate guard from Fort Lauderdale, Florida. Cardinal Gibbons High School, Fishburne Military Academy, former MEAC Rookie of the Year. Ten and a half points, two rebounds per game. And the crowd serenading Ryan Andino right now, his final home start. And you feel in the air, Dave, perhaps a chance uh, for, you know, to really burst up and have one of his... Uh, oh, that's what we want. That's what exactly what we want. <laughs> yeah, Joining Dino in the starting lineup, uh, number three, Kanan Bartley, 6'1", sophomore guard from Miami, Florida, four and a half points, four rebounds a game. Ryan Arudia, 6'1", junior guard from El Paso, Texas, and Cochise uh, College in Arizona, seven and a half points, three and a half rebounds, five and a half assists per game. Gabriel Jimphy, 6'6", junior guard from Brampton, Ontario, Colby Community College in Kansas, five and a half points and five rebounds a game. Isaac Taylor, the 6'8", Redshirt, Washington Creek, Virginia. Points, three rebounds per contest, but he's had double-digit scoring each of the last two games. Huge reason why the Hawks were able to win Delaware State and Morgan State. So Andino, Bartley, Arudi, and Jimpy, and Taylor for the Hawks. For Eric Skeeters and the Delaware State Hornets, Justin Ryder, six-foot freshman guard from Blackwood, New Jersey, one point and one rebound per game for Ryder. This is his first start of the season. Kevin Larkin, 6'5", senior guard from Georgetown, Delaware, a graduate transfer from Niagara and a one-time Eastern Shore target. 16 points, nine rebounds a game, fourth and third in the league, respectively. Joaquin Pinky Wiley, 5'11", sophomore guard from Chesterfield, Virginia, nine and a half points, three rebounds, four and a half assists per game, and a league best 2.1 steals. Amir Bennett, 6'8", sophomore forward from Richmond, Virginia, eight and a half points, five rebounds a game, and Salik Edwards, 6'3", senior guard from Winterville, North Carolina. 10 points, 3 rebounds, an assist, and a steal per game. Ryder, Larkin, Wiley, Bennett, and Edwards for the Hawks. And Dave, looking at this lineup, Kevin Larkin carved up the Hawks in the first half 12 days ago at Memorial Hall. Salik Edwards finished with 23 points. He was 7 of 11 from three-point range. He heated up about uh, 10 minutes to go in that second half, and it looked like Dell State was going to run Maryland Eastern Shore, not out of just the arena, but out of uh, the entire state. It's kind of a small one. It's a small one. Now Hawks able to shut them down, though, and they held Dell State without a field goal over the final 7-15, finishing on a 15-1 run for an impressive 62-56 win. Now they'll get the rematch, go for their fifth straight win over the Route 13 rivals. Officials today, Emmanuel Upton, the head referee, flanked by George Crocker and Damon Allum. Teams have taken the floor. Isaac Taylor will tip against Amir Bennett. And you know what? We we completely uh, goofed one up here. Justin Ryder's not starting to Marco Bauckham. 
from Washington, D.C. is starting the game, actually. We'll get his numbers in a minute. As Isaac Taylor wins the tip, but Dell State comes up with it. We are underway from the Heights Center. Dell State moving right to left in this first half, wearing these spiffy bright red uniforms with Columbia blue numbers front and back, blue and white trim. Good looking. The other day, and out. Ten to shoot. They'll post up with DeMarco Bacham, the freshman forward from Washington, D.C., and he misses his first shot. Rebound Gabriel Jimphy. Bacham, eight points and four rebounds per game. He is starting, not Justin Ryder. Two new starters for Dell State. Brian and Rudy controls it for the Hawks, moving left to right, wearing the home whites with the maroon numbers front and back. Dino floats. Now Taylor leads up way high. Now Jimphy left baseline, steps into an 18-footer. Yes, Gabriel Jimphy. And, Dave, if you want most improved player this year for the Hawks, yeah. I'm giving it to him. Yeah. He has come a long way since uh, game one. 2 nothing Hawks, one minute in. Dell State basketball. This is Pinky Wiley standing at the edge of the M. That's a fun name to say, I'll tell you, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Wiley, right up center, skips it for Bauckham. Top of the circle, kicks it for Edwards in the left wing. Ten to shoot, Edwards, chest pass to Larkin. Right wing steps in, right elbow jumper, yes. Kevin Larkin. Nice two to shot two. there from the wing. Eastern Shore thought they had him for a brief moment, and then he ends up going to Delaware State, State. instead. Yep. A minute and a half in, 2-2 two -two ball game. Brian and Rudy is staring down the defender. That's Wiley. Rudy dribbling to the left wing. Green set by Taylor. Inside for Zeke. Pick and roll. Turns around. Lays it up and in. Isaac Taylor did about a 7-20 in the paint. <laughs> was able to lay it in. Keep his footing on the feed for Marudia. 4-2 mm. two Hawks, two minutes in. And, uh, and Taylor improving by the game. Hornet basketball. Salik Edwards right corner. He'll step back for three and drain it over Ryan Andino. Salik Edwards picking up where he left off. Seven trades against the Hawks 12 days ago. And Delaware State takes a 5-4 lead. Two minutes gone by in the basketball game. Here's Brian and Rudy at the left channel from Maryland Shore. Wiley right in his face. Floats to down low for Taylor. That's too tall. Intercepted by Amir Bennett. Red basketball. Wiley is zigzagging across the midway. Screen set. Wiley at the free throw line. Kicks out for Larkin in the right wing. Larkin guarded by Andino. Wrap around inside for Bennett, who posts up against Taylor. Left-handed hook shot leads it on the front of the iron. Rebound Bartley. Here comes Eastern Shore left to right. Kanan Bartley sees a seam left side. Gets stripped on the way up by Bennett. Crowd wanted a foul call, but uh, no whistle. Looking pretty clean. Wiley on the left wing for Delaware State. Feeds Bauckham left baseline. Posting against Jim Fee. Kicks back out for Bennett. Bennett will try a three from the left wing. Miss it strong. And Bartley. Bartley hauls down another rebound. 5-4 Hornets. They're going up and down change. the floor. Hawks will slow it down. And Eastern Shore in that methodical offense. They'll run it down under 10 seconds of the shot clock more often than not. Lowest scoring team in the MEAC at 57 points a contest. Here's Arudia right corner. Catch and shoot three. Bullseye. Ryan Arudia on the feed from Bartley. Nice cross-court vision. Right. Seven to four. Five sure. Three minutes plus gone by. Yeah, he's been shooting the ball well over the last several games, too. Dell State looking to answer. Here's Bennett right baseline. Steps back 10-footer over Zeke. Got it. Amir Bennett with another bucket. 7-7. Seven, seven. Each team's got a touchdown. Three minutes in. Walk basketball. Here's Jim Fee top of the circle. Skips it for Arudia on the right wing. Rudia looking inside for Taylor. He lobs it to him on the baseline. Zeke posting against Bennett. He's got a huge muscle advantage. Double team by... Hawkins. Zeke turns around, lays up and in. That was way too easy. Yeah. Good. If it's, if it's going to be easy for Taylor, it's good news for the Hawks to get 18 and 9 against Dell State 12 days ago. 9 7 shore, four minutes in. Edwards, top circle, kicks it for Bennett, straight away for three, clangs it to the right. Zeke there for the rebound. Here comes Eastern Shore. Rudy lowers his head, sprints in, left baseline, draws contact. It's a foul on the floor. First foul of all game. It takes us into the under 16. 15.58 to play in the first half. Eastern Shore 9, Delaware State 7 on the Shore Sports Network and sfmsports.net. Your docs and urgent care has you covered. From physicals to flu shots, pediatrics to pneumonia, strep throat to stitches, whether you're on vacation or on your way to work, they accept most insurance and offer affordable self-pay options. Use clock. Call or J 
you stop by. Your Doc's Inn has been named the best urgent care for four years in a row. Your Doc's Inn Urgent Care, with six convenient locations to serve you on Maryland's Eastern Shore, whether you live here or you're just traveling through. Do you need a break, a getaway? Plan a visit to Hyatt Place Dewey Beach in Delaware. Lay back, relax with your toes in the sand, and unwind to the sounds of the ocean. Please your palate with a delicious meal at Cape Hassa Restaurant on the Bay while taking in the sights of a beautiful sunset. It's time to get away and make that getaway to the Hyatt Place Dewey Beach. Call 302-864-9100 or visit HyattPlaceDeweyBeach.com. Make a lifetime of memories in your own backyard at Hyatt Place Dewey Beach. That's Hyatt Place Dewey Beach on Facebook and Instagram. This is Hawks Basketball from SFMSports.net. Back on the shore, 9-7 Hawks over Delaware State, 15-58 to play in the first half. The uh, 130th edition of the Route 13 rivalry. Eastern Shore leads the all-time series 69-60. to They've won four in a row. The Hornets had been on a 13-5 and run over the previous 18. The series dating back all the way to 1948-49. Eastern Shore won the inaugural matchup 46-4. It's been a very competitive basketball game most every time they play. Inbound is to Isaac Taylor for the Hawks. Now it's Andino inside for Zeke. Goes up and gets a triple team. Comes down with it and gets fouled. Dino and Zeke were trying the alley-oop. And somehow, in a sea of red, Taylor able to rise up and drive it. Drive it in to draw contact. Fouls against Pinky Wiley. And Isaac Taylor heads to the line. Taylor four points already today. I think he can score. I think he's going to score a lot today. If we go down inside, I can't see anybody down in there that really bothered him at all. As he makes the first free throw, well, yeah, he's taller than everybody else for Delaware State, and he's got more muscle he's, size, too. You stick him up against Bennett, and Bennett looks like a twig. Yes, true. Second free throw sits on the iron, and large rebound. 10-7 Eastern Shore. 15 and change to go before halftime. Larkin waiting in the leads across the timeline. Dribbles to the right, wraps it to Buckham on the right wing. He'll try a three over Taylor. Missed it well short. Swoops in for his own rebound, but loses the handle. And Arudia comes up for the shore. Brian Arudia in traffic. Bangs it off of Ronald Lucas and out of bounds. Lucas checked in during the last break. A freshman forward from Baltimore. A.J. Cheeseman in for the Hawks. So is Ahmad Frost. Kane and Bartley Isaac Taylor out. Frost, junior guard from Cincinnati. Had 12 points, including nine in the final four minutes of Hawks tonight. And A.J. Cheeseman, who had 10 and nine in his best games, is returning from injury. Here's Jim Fee on the left wing for Eastern Shore. Inside for Cheeseman. Back out for Jim Fee. And they'll go Cheeseman again. Left baseline. Staring down Lucas. Spins to his left. Gets a shot fake. Fade away jumper. Missed everything. Larkin with the board. Dell State basketball. Larkin skips it back for Pinky. <laughs> Wiley. Trying to find the brain to his, well, himself. Looks off for Bauckham. Now it's Larkin, the free throw line, double team, leans to his left, jumps it for Lucas. Lucas, fade away, 10-footer, rims out, rebound Cheeseman. Hawk basketball. Arudia flicks it for Frost on the right wing. Now it's Jim Fee and Arudia on the left wing with Wiley in his face. Inside for Cheeseman. Left baseline, posts against Lucas, gets mauled, ends up traveling, though. Yeah, he tried to do too much. He tried to ram himself up against the wall and make the wall move, and you're going to take extra steps when you do that. That's two possessions in a row. We tried to force a little thing. And Dell State's small, but they're scrappy. Hornet basketball. Bauckham. Now it's inside for Lucas. Left baseline. Missed the layup. Rudy got back on defense. Cheeseman the board. Here comes Eastern Shore. Push Frost. Right wing. Thought about the three. Instead inside for Jim Fee. Jim Fee. Right low post. Gets around his man. Reverse layup. Blocked by Bauckham. Jim Fee gets it back. Scoops out for Rudia on the right wing. Brian accelerating in. Now jabs out to Frost. Ten to shoot for Eastern Shore. Frost retreats to the M. Larkin there to meet him. Cheeseman, Frost slips to the left wing. Cross court for Rudia. Right wing for three. Leaves it on the iron. Larkin with the clearance. Here comes Delaware State. One hand flick up for Wiley on the left wing. Wiley inside for Bauckham. Posting on Frost. It's a mismatch. And Bauckham gets loose, lays it up and in. Reverse for DeMarco Bauckham. 10 9 Dell State. 13 40 to go in the first half. Now a pass for Andino is smacked out of bounds right into the Delaware State bench by Salik Edwards. 
Amir Bennett's back in for the Hornets. Jonathan Mitchell checks in as well. 6'4", junior guard from Waterbury, Connecticut. Kanan Bartley's in for Eastern Shore. Brian Arudia out. All three point guards were in foul trouble for the Hawks against Morgan State. Arudia, Frost, and Bartley. No fouls for the Hawks so far. Almost six and a half minutes in. Kanan Bartley will run the floor in this setup, and Frost will be the shooting guard. Bartley left channel. Finds Frost straight away, guarded by Larkin, looking inside for Taylor, and say he'll dribble in, step back, 18-footer, too strong. Clearance by Wiley, here comes Delaware State. Right to left, Pinky Wiley finds Edwards in the right corner. Sleek already has one three today, looking inside for Bennett. Instead, pitches out for Mitchell, who averages eight and five points and rebounds. Steps into a jumper over Cheeseman at the free throw line, leaves it short. Rebound Bartley, uh. feeds Cheeseman Pass deflected out of bounds. Bodies tangled up, and Eastern Shore retains possession. That was a dangerous pass That's by Bartley. That's a tough, tough pass. Straight down the middle of the floor, trying to go over top everybody. <laughs> And now Brian Arudi is coming right back in. Uh, Coach Reed, he's got a reputation for having his players on a short leash. So Brian Andino is out on his senior night. Hasn't gotten a shot off yet. And the inbound stolen by Jonathan Mitchell. Two on one. Here's Edwards. The pass a little behind him. He scoops it out to Larkin. Left wing three. Shanks it off the front of the rim. Rebound for Frost. Hawk basketball. They catch a break that time after turning it over. Arudia inside for Taylor, who checked in. Now it's Frost, left wing three, bullseye. Ahmad Frost on the feed from Zeke. 13 to 9, Eastern Shore. 12 and a half to play in the first. This is Larkin, right baseline for Bennett, and a travel is called inside. <laughs> Frost, by the way, came back with a, 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 another three where he hit a big three in the, in the last game on uh, Monday night. Uh, Frost, perhaps the biggest reason why the Hawks were able to come back and win that game. Nine of his 12 points inside the final four minutes. Arudia dances on the left wing for the shore. Now it's Bartley. Oh, Frost was right up in the right corner. They just didn't see him. Now Bartley, step back 18-footer right wing, forced it strong. Wiley with a clearance for red. Here comes Delaware State right to left. Jonathan Mitchell gallops over the front court into the left corner. Quick trigger three for Edwards. Swirls around and in. Salik Edwards, his second tray. 13-12 shore. 12 even to play before halftime. Here's a Rudy at top of the circle for Eastern Shore. Man D for Delaware State. Frost fakes inside. Now finds Cheeseman straight away. Arudia on the right channel. Lane's getting clogged in the middle. He floats it for Frost. Left corner, pocket three. Bullseye! Ahmad Frost back to back trays. 13 to 12 Eastern Shore. 11 and a half to play in the first. Pinky Wiley across the midway for Delaware State. Now it's Mitchell. Right elbow. Wrap around. And he missed the layup, missed everything. Taylor with great defense, gets the rebound too. Here's Arudia, slithering in, kicks it back for Frost, knocked away by Wiley. In the hands of Edwards, and Frost reaches and fouls Edwards before the corner break away for a potential layup. So maybe a good foul That's to a give. That's a good foul. That's a good, good foul. foul, just the first against right. Eastern Shore. It's a, yeah, it's just out of bounds. Timeout on the floor, 11.20 to play in the first half. Eastern Shore 16, Dell State 12 on the Shore Sports Network and SFMSports.net. The Courtyard by Marriott on Route 13 in Salisbury offers comfortable rooms and meeting spaces, as well as always superior customer service in a great location near the mall. Call 410-742-4405 and ask for details about their special Maryland Eastern Shore partner rate. The Courtyard by Marriott in Salisbury, an official partner of Maryland Eastern Shore Athletics, and proud to bring you this broadcast of Hawks basketball on sfmsports.net. Hawks fans, improving reliability with new technology and upgrades is only part of Delmarva Power's commitment to customers. They're also helping customers save money and energy with tips, tools, and programs that can help everyone reduce monthly bills. Just visit delmarva.com slash everyone saves for more. That's delmarva.com slash everyone saves. Delmarva Power, proud sponsor of Maryland Eastern Shore Athletics. This is Maryland Eastern Shore Basketball from sfmsports.net. 20 to go in the first half. Eastern Shore leads Dell State 16 to 12. In the middle of a 
rebuild under first year head coach Eric Skeeters. 26 years as an assistant at With Ryan Odom at UMBC, he was an That's a long time. He got some serious pub last year. Delaware State basketball. Here's Jonathan Mitchell on the right channel for red. Brings everything to a standstill. Now kicks for Bauckham on the right sideline. Mitchell again straight away. Frost comes over to help out left side of the lane. Wow. Missed the shot to the left side. Gets his own rebound and lays it up and in. So for Mitchell, pass it to himself essentially off the backboard. <laughs> Gets the end result. 16 to 14 short. 10.50 to go in the first half. Hawks basketball. It's Bartley, Arudi, Cheeseman, Frost, and Taylor on the floor for White. Arudia left channel, skips it for Bartley, top of the circle inside for Zeke, posting up against Bennett. Turns around, left-handed hook shot, skips out. Larkin there for the clearance. Good shot by uh, good Taylor, shot. just yeah. the iron was unfriendly. Point blind shot, take his time, patience, just didn't go in. Pinky Wiley, right channel for Delaware State, into Bauckham, spins to his right against Taylor, lays it off the glass, and in to Marco Bauckham with these slippery handles, and Dell State ties it, 16 all. Ten and a quarter to go in the first half. Yeah. Dell State changing defense on each possession. Played man to man last time, not earned his own. Here's Taylor, right baseline to Cheeseman, went up for the layup or dunk up, blocked by Bauckham. Frost comes down with it, and Cheeseman again, he's rejected by Amir Bennett. Here comes Delaware State. A couple of big swats of A.J. Cheeseman layup attempts. As Wiley loses it on the floor, and the Hawks tie it up, and they'll take over as the arrow points to them. Wiley simply dropped it. Yeah, that's all. Good hustle by the Hawks. Two guys. Two Hawks on the ball. Gabriel Jimphy and Ryan Andino back in for the Hawks, and Colin Gaynor in for the first time. The redshirt sophomore from Berlin, Maryland. Isaac Taylor gets a breather. Smaller lineup for the Hawks. I think Jim Fee in this setup would be the five. Yeah. And it's Hawk basketball. We'll see if they start raining threes here. Ryan Andino doesn't have a shot attempt tonight. Here's a Rudy on the left side for the Hawks. Finds Andino straight away. He'll try a long three. And it's an air ball. Well, you knew he was going to try it. Yeah. I would have made sure my first shot was absolutely wide open and not that baby. It's hot. He can knock him down. Delaware State basketball trying to take the lead again. Here's Larkin. Stutter step in. Left wing kicks it into the corner for Bauckham. Bauckham wraps around to Larkin. And the, the shot clock's at seven, Dave. That, yeah. It seemed like it didn't reset, did it? Three. And a desperation three for Larkin. And he climbs it off the heel. Rebound for Jim Fee. Hawks trying to capitalize on what could have been a ghost in the machine. The timekeeper. I don't think it reset after no. Andino's air ball. It was a quick shot, yeah. Here's Gaynor cuts in right baseline. Falling away left-handed hook shot off of the front iron. But the rebound ricochets out for Frost. It's a fresh 30 for Maryland Eastern Shore. 16 all, eight and a half to play in the first half. Jimfee setting the screen for Arudia. He takes the left wing, and Mitchell comes out and hand checks him. Foul against Jonathan Mitchell. Sub four, red and blue. Now we'll go with Justin Ryder. We told you all about him <laughs> as the erroneous starter, a six foot freshman guard from Paul, the sixth high school in Blackwood, New Jersey. Up the road from the five other Pauls. <laughs> McCartney was my favorite. Yeah, that's not a bad one. Well, Schaefer is a close second. <laughs> then maybe Jamadi. His dad was a baseball commissioner once. You gotta love it. Here's a Rudy accelerating in the right side lane, lays it off the glass, didn't get the angle. Jim Fee swoops in for the offensive rebound and is fouled. Gabriel Jim Fee. Great second chance opportunity. He'll shoot a pair of free throws. Yeah. Both teams going at it around the basket. They're about to really about the same size when the Hawks go to a small lineup. So it's a lot of battle for rebounds. Gabriel Jim Fee at the line shooting two. And what a MEAC season he has had. He was lukewarm numbers in the non-conference as he was adjusting to the play of Division One. Hits his first free throw. Should 60% from the floor now, 71 from the free throw line. Kanan Bartley's back in for the Hawks. Demont Frost gets a breather, but Jim Fee's numbers in Miak play seven points, five and a half rebounds per game. 
So not the biggest of improvements, but a wide enough improvement that it, if it comes down to close games, that could be the difference. Second free throw for Gabe rolls home. 18-16 Eastern Shore, 8-17 to play in the first half. Delaware State basketball. Hawks bring in a full court press. Edwards turns around, finds Ronald Lucas left baseline. He checked in during the last whistle. Now it's Justin Ryder running the floor. He only plays eight minutes a game. Ryder retreats to the M. Finds Larkin right wing. Back out to Ryder. Pumps it to Sleek Edwards left wing. Take the shoot. Pass forward for Larkin to the right wing. Cuts in at the free throw line. Up and under layup is in. Kevin Larker with the Gumby-like acrobatics down low. He's very athletic, Will. He can, he can get a shot when he wants to get a shot. 18 all, 7.41 to play before halftime. On the edge of the big maroon M for Maryland Eastern Shore. Bartley slowing things down as the Hawks will set up into the half court. Here's Bartley slithering in right high post, gets blocked down low, and that's oh, walk. a traveling violation as he got the ball stuffed right back into his arms. Came down taking the two steps. Delaware State will take over with a chance to lead when we come back. 7.27 to play in the first half. Eastern Shore 18, Delaware State 18 on the Shore Sports Network and SFMSports.net. Do you need a break, a getaway? Plan a visit to Hyatt Place Dewey Beach in Delaware. Lay back, relax with your toes in the sand, and unwind to the sounds of the ocean. Please your palate with a delicious meal at Cape Hassa Restaurant on the Bay while taking in the sights of a beautiful sunset. It's time to get away and make that getaway to the Hyatt Place Dewey Beach. Call 302-864-9100 or visit HyattPlaceDeweyBeach.com. Make a lifetime of memories in your own backyard at Hyatt Place Dewey Beach. That's Hyatt Place Dewey Beach on Facebook and Instagram. Vivid Physical Therapy is the leading provider of physical therapy and sports medicine services in the region with over 270 clinic locations and providing sports medicine services to over 120 youth, scholastic, collegiate, and professional programs. Pivot Physical Therapy is in your backyard with locations in Salisbury, Berlin, Cambridge, Easton, and Seaford. Pivot Physical Therapy and Pivot Sports Medicine is a proud partner of the University of Maryland Eastern Athletic training and physical therapy care to your Maryland Eastern Shore Hawks. This is Hawks Basketball from SFMSports.net. Back at the Hype Center, Will DeBoer, Dave Bird with you. Courtside, Maryland Eastern Shore and Delaware State tied 18-18 with 7-26 to play in the first half. For the Hawks and the Hornets and for everybody in the MEAC, for that regard, it's their final game in the regular season. The 2019 MEAC tournament begins at the Norfolk Scope next week. Eleven of the teams will play there as the Florida A&M. Their season's coming to an end tonight. They're ineligible for the postseason. Hawks will have either the eight, nine, or ten seeds and will play Tuesday night in the first round of the Scope. Dell State's locked into the 11 seed and they'll play the number six. We've got contact uh, down low as Ronald Lucas gets barreled over underneath the basket. It might be on Gainer, I think. And it is against yep. Colin Gaynor. That's his first. Just the second foul against Eastern Shore. Dell State of course, so the yeah, officiating a, crew let letting them play. Up them. They're letting them play, and why yeah. not? I kind of like it. It's been going up and down. Dell State to inbound. Pinky Wiley underneath the basket. Pumps it into the backcourt for Ronald Lucas. Lucas guard Lucy by that's for Wiley on the right channel now, looking inside. Wiley flicks it to Larkin at the right high post. Larkin turns around, steps into a jumper at the free throw line, and buries. Larkin with six, hits it over Frost, and Delaware State leads 20-18, to 18, under seven to play before the half. Now he's a tough handle for the smaller UMS guards. And Dino left wing catch and shoot three, skims the rim, and Larkin plucks down the board. Dell State basketball trying to go up by two possessions for the first time. Wiley dribbles to the right wing. Hands off to Lucas at the free throw line. Lucas goggles and all back to Larkin. Now left baseline, step back 12 footer, in and out and back in again. Kevin Larkin breaking ankles down low. 22 to 18, Delaware State with 6.20 to play in the first half. Yeah, Larkin's about 6'5, so he can jump over top to halt smaller guards. Brian Arudia on the right wing for Eastern Shore. Looking inside for Taylor, instead he fights Jim Fee top of the circle. Hand off to Frost. Ahmad thinking about a contested three. He decides against it with Larkin in his face. Larkin's got pretty long arms. Five to shoot now inside to Jim. Dribble drive in left baseline, double team underneath. Tried to get it out, should have probably shot it. Stolen by Wiley, and Pinky Wiley gets bumped in transition by Brian Arudia. 
Now, Ginger tried to use a reverse layup and just didn't get quite far enough under the basket. First foul against Arudia. DeMarco Bauckham's back in here. Red basketball. Wiley threads it in for Bauckham and a handoff back to Wiley. Pinky dump off for Salik Edwards right wing. Now it's Larkin straight away. Inside for Bauckham at the free throw line. Bauckham. Keeps that plan for it. Now starts his dribble right baseline and loses it out of bounds. Gabriel Jimfee sticking to him on defense. Hawks take over. Just the third turnover against Delaware State. Easter Shore has six of them. Hawk basketball to Rudia on the right wing. Shore has gone cold from the floor. They're just six of 19 shooting the rock. Oh. Ahmad Frost on the left channel. Screen set by Jim Fee. Frost, guarded by Edwards, jabs in and back out again. Finds Taylor at the left high post. Seven to shoot inside for Jim Fee. Too many Hornets stolen by Bauckham. Here comes Wiley right to left across the midway for Delaware State. Screen set by Bauckham. Wiley circles up to the right wing. Back for Edwards. Now Bauckham straight away pumps to Larkin. Left wing contested three over Andino. Bullseye. Kevin Larkin yelping to the sky. He's got 11. 25 to 18 Delaware State. The Hornets on a 9 0 run. 444 to play in the first half. Now it's Ryan Andino. Right wing for three. Lips out halfway down. Larkin to clearance. Dell State basketball. Wiley left wing inside for Bauckham. Back out for Edwards. And Edwards shuffles his feet in the left corner. Yeah. Well, the, the Hawks have been stuck on six field goals now for uh, several minutes. They haven't scored in four minutes, and they're one of their last ten. Kevin Larkin bursting through in the first half the way he did 12 days ago at Memorial Hall. The Hawks led that game at halftime 28 to 24. The Hawks then shut Larkin down for just three more points on the way to the win. Here's Arudia, left channel for Eastern Shore. Screen set by Jim Fee. Inside for Zeke Taylor. Triple teamed in the right low post. Loses it. Gets it back with nine to shoot. Now he's double teamed. Out to Frost. Pump fake. Right baseline. Out to Arudia. Two. Arudia slithers in. Right side layup. He gets fouled. It gets caught between rim and backboard and falls out. But Arudia, with the clock expiring, draws the foul. He'll shoot two free throws when we return. 3.59 to play in the first. Delaware stayed up a touchdown, 25-18 on the Shore Sports Network and SFMSports.net. In the Mid-Eastern Athletic Conference, success for our student-athletes isn't just measured by wins and losses, points on the scoreboard, or individual stats. It's also measured by the performance in the classroom, in the community, and ultimately graduation. Our student-athletes aren't just playing to win a single game. They're playing to win at life. Because games end, but life keeps on going. The MIAC, educating student athletes for the game of life. This is Dr. Walt Gianelli, founder of Your Doc's End. We are here for you and all of life's little twists and turns. Sometimes you can't plan your route, but you can get back on track again. Our medical experts at Your Doc's End are here to care for you when you need us. Delivering the best urgent care, we've even been voted top provider four years in a row. Feel better, faster. Visit one of our six Eastern Shore locations today. Just walk in. No appointment necessary. Or check us out at yourdocsend.com. Locations are open beginning at 8 a.m., every single day, 877-222-4934. This is Hawks Basketball from sfmsports.net. Cold for the floor in the last few minutes. Delaware State's on a 13-2 run over the last eight minutes. All right. The Hawks are 6 for 20 from the floor. After a good start. Ryan Arudia trying to reestablish the mojo. He's at the free throw line shooting two, a 63% foul shooter, and then ever will boost with this one as he rolls it home. Arudia, 18 points, rebounds, four assists three days ago against Morgan State. Including one dive for a loose ball right in front of the visiting bench where he was parallel to the floor. The way a really good baseball catch in the outfield. Arudia was able to corral that. And he makes both of his free throws here. 25 to 20 Dell State. 3.51 to go before the half. 
The, the Hawks are lucky just to be down five, really. So uh, they, they've done a good job just to stay close. Ryan Lucas's pass punched back out for Pinky Wiley. And Eric Skeeter's kind of frustrated. Now Rudy gets a hand on it, and it pops right to Larkin. Larkin dribble drives in left baseline, gets held up by Jim Fee. And I'd say it's a good foul against Gabriel Jim Fee. Larkin's been eating you alive inside. You don't let him get loose. Since you got a little more size, so that, that, that would help. The Hawks are still playing pretty good defense down here. Man-to-man -man defense, and uh, they got, certainly got to watch Larkin. The inbound is to Larkin. He's 6'5", and as a garb, is more of a swing man down low. As he collides in there with this a layup. Nice D by Ahmad. Nice no call, perhaps. <laughs> Shore basketball. Here's a Rudy right wing. Pumps it to Ahmad Frost left wing. Looking inside for Taylor. He's covered, and he retreats it back to Arudia. Arudia takes a screen to the right, 10 to shoot. Now centers up on the screen. Arudia left wing looking inside. He's covered. Frost left wing. They'll try Taylor. Left baseline out to Arudia. Three to shoot. Now Frost left wing for three. Got it. Come on, Frost at the gun. 25-23, Dell State under three to play before halftime. And Ahmad Frost, nine points today, a perfect three for three from distance. <laughs> Delaware State trying to answer as the Hawks heating up. Quick trigger three for Edwards, left wing, shanks it. Taylor chases down the board. Here comes Arudia for the Hawks, scoops it for Frost, left wing three. That rip, rims out. Edwards ricochets the rebound to his teammate Mitchell. Heat check for Frost and <laughs> pulls off. Mitchell spin Orama right baseline finds Bennett down low. He's blocked from behind by Jim Fee. Gabe had four blocks in the last game. Now it's Andino dribble drive in right baseline. Floater catches the front of the rim. Offensive rebound. Zeke Taylor lays it back up and in. And oh, I think Taylor caught a uh, shoulder or something in the nose uh, was, inadvertently. Jim Fee's shoulder is over. 25 all, Hawks in a seven zip run. Two minutes to go before halftime. Inside the Larkin, right baseline. What can he do for Delaware State? Cuts across against Jim Fee. Leaning forward, 12 footer, hooks to the right. Jim Fee swoops in for the rebound. Hawks can take the lead right here. Ryan Arudia, right elbow, draws contact. Amir Bennett fouls him, and Brian's headed back to the strike. Right. He was trying to draw contact that job that time. Great job, especially when he can shoot three throws. First foul against Amir Bennett. Dell State's got two players with two fouls, Bauckham and Mitchell. Now Rudia can give the Hawks a lead. First one's up and in. And the Hawks are in front again. A.J. Cheeseman back in. So is Colin Gaynor for the Hawks. Isaac Taylor and Ahmad Frost out. Ronald Lucas returns for red. 103 seconds to go in the half. Eastern Shore, the one-point advantage. Brian Arudi at the line for his second free throw. Up and in. Nothing Good. but net. Four straight for Arudi at the line. 27-25 Hawks, a 9-0 run for the home side. 100 seconds to play in the half. Pinky Wiley into the front court for Red. Double screen coming, but it backs it out. Wiley double team in the backcourt, retreats towards the timeline, skips it to Edwards, the right wing. Now it's Wiley. What about the three? Ends up shuffling his feet. It's a travel. He was worried about that double team. Great job by the Hawks on defense. They jumped him out, out front with two guys. A little traveling music for Delaware State. Rattled him like a maraca. <laughs> Basketball in the midst of a 9 0 run over the last three and a half minutes. Here's Arudia on the right wing. Inside for Gaynor. Colin left baseline, lays it up and in. Both Gaynor and Cheeseman went up for that one, didn't get in each other's ways, and Colin Gaynor's got a bucket. 29 25 Hawks. It's an 11 0 run, and the timeout taken by Eric Skeeters. With 106 to play in the first half, 29-25, Maryland Eastern Shore. We'll stick with you. Dave, we talked in the first game about it. It was a game of runs, runs. and this one even more so. It is more so. And continues from the last game when they played, where the Hawks went on that nice run at the end of the game. They're making this run at the end of the first half. An 11-0 push over four minutes. And a balance of Back for Eastern yeah. Shore. Ahmad Frost has nine points. Isaac Taylor has seven. Brian Arudia has seven. 
all in different ways, too. Taylor's getting them inside. Rudy is getting them from the three-throw line. And Frost is dropping threes down. That's pretty good. A triple threat. Delaware State basketball, desperate for an answer. Salik Edwards, inbounds to Pinky Wiley. Right sideline, center is up, guarded by Jim Fee. Skips it to Bauckham, left of center. Jim Fee comes back to help on a double team. Now it's Wiley again on the right sideline. Desperation, NBA range three, and he swirls it home. Pinky, Pinky Wiley. That was a deep three that time. And a timeout taken by Cliff Reed now. 49 seconds to go in the first half. Shore leads 29 to 28. Coming up at halftime, stats, analysis, and we'll see what's happened across the Mid-Eastern Athletic Conference in the season finale. Everybody's in action. The uh, Hawk women have wrapped their season up. They won 69-58 over Delaware State earlier today. And unofficially, it looks like the Hawks in the quarterfinals of the MEAC tournament next week will play the winner of Savannah State and South Carolina State. Savannah State the 10 and South Carolina State the 7 in uh, that setup. The Tigers actually went to Orangeburg and beat the Bulldogs 69, uh, 65 to 64. They to set up that rematch. And they play again. That's going to be another close game. The way the standings shake out right now, Savannah State's tied with Delaware State for ninth, but Dell State holds the tiebreaker. And same thing between South Carolina State and Morgan State. Morgan's got the tiebreaker for six, which would drop South Carolina State to seven. A.J. Cheeseman, right baseline, lays it up and in, and one. Hawks, whatever they drew up from the timeout, it worked. It worked. You've done well on out-of-bounds plays uh, when they're coming out. Fouls on Amir Bennett. Kanan Bartley's back in for the Hawks. Ryan Andino out. A.J. Cheeseman to the line. And when Cheeseman was new at the beginning of the season and before the injury, he was oh, yeah. tough to stop down low. Was 10th in the league in scoring at the time of his injury. His average has since dropped to 9.4 points and four rebounds a game, but had 10 and 9 the other night against Morgan as part of the win. Free throw rolls on home. Three the old fashioned way for AJ Cheeseman. He'll get a breather for the rest of the half. 32 to 28 Eastern Shore, 37.2 remaining in the opening session. And obviously 30 seconds on the clock, shots a seven second differential. Dell State basketball, Jonathan Mitchell weaves his way into the front court. Stripped from behind by Rudy. A ball's on the floor, kicked out of bounds. And it's off of Rudy. White. Yes, Rudy. He was pointing in that direction, but it also looked like he was pointing at Pinky Wiley, and the officials overturn it. It's Eastern Shore basketball. We'll take it. <laughs> The, shot box. the Hawks can hold on for the final 26.4. Ryan Andino, A.J. Cheeseman, and uh, Ahmad Frost back in for Eastern Shore. The offensive lineup here. And Kevin Larkin's in for D for Dell. DeMarco Bauckham out. Hawks in a 14-3 run over the last four and a half minutes. The only three points for Dell State, that desperation long three. Long three. Pinky Wiley. Arudia dances with Wiley into the front court. Hawks will run this thing down. It's their prerogative, and it's a good one. Arudia boxing out Wiley. Eight to shoot. Arudia to the left wing. Lewis comes over to help. Arudia finds Frost. Oh. NBA range, left wing three. Shanks it. She's been put back to short. He's fouled. With .2 Two. seconds on the game clock, A.J. Cheeseman fouled on the second chance attempt. The fouls against Ronald Lucas. That's his first, and now Cheeseman with a chance to boost it to five or six before halftime. A.J., 59% free throw shooter, the Snellville, Georgia man. First one sits on the iron. Collins Hill high. In Orleans for a year, and then last season, Gordon State College in Georgia, where he put up 14 points and six and a half boards. Second free throw for Cheeseman. 
Sits on the rim, rebound Larkin, no time to do anything, and that's halftime. But Maryland Eastern Shore closes the first half on an impressive 14-3 run. They take a 32-28 lead over Delaware State into the locker room. We'll step aside, come back with the halftime figures and scores from around the Mid-Eastern Athletic Conference and top 25 in men's college basketball. And again, your final, your uh, score at halftime, your halfway final score, the Maryland Eastern Shore <laughs> Hawks 32, the Delaware State Hornets 28. Halftime next on the Shore Sports Network and as fmsports.net. Your docs and urgent care has you covered. From physicals to flu shots, pediatrics to pneumonia, strep throat to stitches, whether you're on vacation or on your way to work, they accept most insurance and offer affordable self-pay options. Use Clockwise Online, call or just stop by. Your docs in has been named the best urgent care for four years in a row. Your docs in urgent care with 16 big locations to serve you on Maryland's Eastern Shore, whether you live here or you're just traveling through. In the Mid-Eastern Athletic Conference, success for our student athletes isn't just measured by wins and losses, points on the scoreboard, or individual stats. It's also measured by their performance in the classroom, in the community, and ultimately graduation. Our student athletes aren't just playing to win a single game. They're playing to win at life, because games end, but life keeps on going. The MIAC, educating student athletes for the game of life. Signs by Tomorrow is proud to be one of the founding companies of the one-day sign industry. Our services include banners, trade show displays, window and vehicle lettering, decals, name tags, logo reproduction, and real estate signs. We offer free estimates, design proposals, and on-site consultations. One-day service is available. Let us show you what we can do for you. Signs by Tomorrow. Call 410-860-0033 or visit Signs by Tomorrow. Tomorrow .com. You need a break, a getaway? Plan a visit to Hyatt Place Dewey Beach in Delaware. Lay back, relax with your toes in the sand, and unwind to the sounds of the ocean. Please your palate with a delicious meal at Cape Hassa Restaurant on the Bay while taking in the sights of a beautiful sunset. It's time to get away and make that getaway to the Hyatt Place Dewey Beach. Call 302-864-9100 or visit HyattPlaceDeweyBeach.com. Make a lifetime of memories in your own backyard at Hyatt Place Dewey Beach. That's Hyatt Place Dewey Beach on Facebook and Instagram. This is Maryland Eastern Shore Basketball from SFNSports.net. Now, let's go courtside. This is the Halftime Show. And we welcome you inside the Shore Halftime Show, courtside at the Heights Center in Princess Anne, where the Maryland Eastern Shore Hawks lead the Delaware State Hornets 32-28. to We're with your courtside there. We've got the presentation center court, the class of 1974, aged 45 for the uh, UMES Foundation. Of course, 45 years since 1974, and that was a big year at uh, Maryland Eastern Shore yes, with the uh, MEAC Championship and the NIT appearance, the best team in school history. Yeah, I watched them play. Good team, right huh? Very good team. Well, the Hawks trying to emulate their 74 brethren on senior night, and they lead their Route 13 rivals at the break. Your halftime stats, Eastern Shore shot 10 of 27 from the floor. That's 37%. 4 of 10 from three-point range, 8 of 11 from the free throw line. For Delaware State, 12 of 28 from the floor in the first half. That's 43%. 4 of 10 from deep, and they did not shoot a free throw in the first half. Just four Hawk fouls, and all of them were on, uh, on the floor. Most sides turns to the court. Uh, that's where I kind of like it. Hawks the balance scoring attack. The leading man was Ahmad Frost. Nine points off the bench. Three of six shooting. Three of five from three point range. Seven points for Isaac Taylor plus six rebounds as he is uh, halfway towards what hit his first career double double. Seven points for Brian Arudia. Four for Gabriel Jimphy, three for A.J. Cheeseman, two for Colin Gaynor, and then uh, Kanan Bartley and Ryan Andino are scoreless. And uh, for Andino, you don't want to see that on his senior night going uh, playing a goose egg. So we'll see if he can get going in the second half. I think he's stressed, he was just pressing a little bit. Uh, if he gets one to go down, it could be it could be all over. He could get hot. It could be. Uh, you, you picture that uh, prototypical. 
typical uh, little boy with his finger in the Dutch <laughs> dike. You know, he, he, right. he takes one out. The one uh, three-pointer could be enough to, to send the guy home for uh, uh, what, what, do, what do Dutch, the Dutch people eat. I should know this. I went to a Dutch college. Uh, let's just move on before I, I get myself into more trouble here. Uh, Kevin Larkin led the way for Delaware State, uh, scoring in the first half. 11 points, 5 of 9 shooting, plus 7 rebounds. Larkin was a force of nature inside. 6 points for Salik Edwards, 4 for DeMarco Bauckham, 3 for Pinky Wiley, 2 each for Amir Bennett and John Mitchell. And then Justin Ryder and Ronald Lucas scoreless. Rebounding-wise, the shore cleaning up on the glass 21 to 14, including 6 to 1 on the offensive end. A foul situation, eight against Delaware State. Two fouls each for Amir Bennett, DeMarco Bauckham, and Jonathan Mitchell. Hawks are just four fouls, and nobody has more than one. Assists, eight to seven for Eastern Shore. Four alone for Brian Arudia, so they've got eight assists on their ten made buckets. You want more made buckets, but you're certainly uh, moving it around well and defining the open man. Yeah. It's, it's a full-team effort uh, so far. I think... I think that's Coach Coach Reed's philosophy, really. Everybody is sharing the ball, both offensively and defensively. And they, if they can make a, a couple more runs like they did the last two minutes, that could be, that could be a nice ball game. Turnovers, six for Dell State, seven for the Hawks. Blocks four to one Dell State and steals five to nothing Delaware State. Points in the paint, Shore with the advantage 10 to 8. Points off turnover 7 to 4, Dell State. Second chance points 4 2, Hawks. No fast break points. And then bench points 14 to 6 for the Hawks. Got five ties and six lead changes. A back and forth first half dominated by runs. The Hornets led by as many as seven. They had an 11 0 uh, 9 0 push at one point. Hawks had a 14 to 3 run to close the first half. They led by as many as four. Hornets led. Six minutes, Hawks for nine, and was tied for about five minutes. All in all, a 32-28 score at the half with the home side on top. Well, thanks. We come back, and Dave, you look like you wanted to say something. There. I, I, wanted, I just hope they come out with a run at the beginning of the first half, and that, that'll set the tone for the entire ball game. Something to look for. Mm. All right, now when we come back, we will have the uh, scores from the final pod of games in the Mid-Eastern Athletic Conference as the tournament starts to take shape right here on the Shore Sports Network and SFMSports.net. The Eastern Shore is a perfect place to visit year-round. A gem hidden on the lower shore is the Henson. Located in the heart of Princess Anne on the picturesque campus of the University of Maryland Eastern Shore. The Henson is the perfect choice for campus visits, business trips, reunions, meetings, and relaxing getaways. Check into the Henson and we'll take care of the rest. Book online at umes.edu slash Henson. Pivot Physical Therapy is the leading provider of physical therapy and sports medicine services in the Mid-Atlantic region with over 270 clinic locations. Providing sports medicine services to over 120 youth, scholastic, collegiate, and professional programs. Pivot Physical Therapy is in your backyard with locations in Salisbury, Berlin, Cambridge, Easton, and Seaford. Pivot Physical Therapy and Pivot Sports Medicine is a proud partner of the University of Maryland Eastern Shore, providing athletic training and physical therapy care to your Maryland Eastern Shore Hawks. Training is about more than muscle. It's about inner strength. So I push myself. That's why I serve in the United States Coast Guard. I train with the best, a team that shares my drive and commitment. We collect intelligence, guard our shores against drug smugglers, and keep our waterways safe because our nation expects more. Discover a future that exceeds your expectations. Learn more at GoCoastGuard.com. The Courtyard by Marriott on Route 13 in Salisbury offers comfortable rooms and meeting spaces, as well as always superior customer service in a great location near the mall. Call 410-742-4405 and ask for details about their special Maryland Eastern Shore partner rates. The Courtyard by Marriott in Salisbury, an official partner of Maryland Eastern Shore Athletics. And proud to bring you this broadcast of Hawks Basketball on SFMSports.net. This is Maryland Eastern Shore Basketball from SFMSports.net. 
Back on the shore halftime show, Hawks leading Dell State 32 to 28. Delaware State's uh, locked in the final seed in the MEAC tournament next week. Eastern Shore can be as high as eight and as low as ten. Uh, a lot of other things are up for grabs, though. Take a look. Halftime around the MEAC. Halftime for Bethune Cookman. Wildcats trailing Florida AM 33 to 25. This is it for the Rattlers. They have a chance to finish 9 and 7 in the MEAC, and they will not play any further as they're ineligible for the tournament this year. Halftime from South Carolina State. Bulldogs up 49 to 44 over Savannah. Just underway second half at North Carolina AT. Aggies 31, NC Central 29. That, we we're looking at that as a potential semifinal matchup in the MEAC tournament, the two in-state rivals. A minute to go in the first half from Norfolk State. The Spartans up 37-34 over Howard. Spartans have already clinched the number one seed in the outright MEAC championship. Howard playing for positioning, and this is their first meeting since that post-game uh, ruckus up in Washington, D.C. last <laughs> month. And a late start in Morgan State, the Battle of Baltimore. The Bears and Coppin State scoreless just one minute in. Wow. So we'll, it looks like we'll be delayed a little bit in terms of the final standings in the Mid-Eastern at the conference. But uh, if everything were to hold, pardon me. That's why we, we need a talk button. That's that's our next spending splurge there. Uh, as of right now, Eastern Shore is tied for 10th in the conference with Morgan State. If the teams finish tied, I think Morgan would win based on uh, point margin as the teams split their series. South Carolina State is winning, too, so a, a Bulldog win would mean the Hawks couldn't finish eighth. They could finish as high as ninth. Looking at the uh, top four or five right now, Norfolk State, the outright champions at 14-1, and one, perhaps soon to be 15-1. and one. North Carolina a and locked into the number two at 12-3. and three. North Carolina Central is third at 10-5. Uh, and five. Howard and Bethune-Cookman are each 9-6. and six. So those two teams, I believe they're pretty much locked into those positionings. And if they finish tied, it won't matter. They'll just play each other in the 4-5 matchup in the quarterfinals. Mm -hmm. It's murky from there. Savannah State 7-8, and eight, Coppin State 6-9, and nine. South Carolina State is 5-10, and 10. Uh, Morgan State in the Hawks. 11 and Delaware State is in last place of 2 and 13. But it's the final games of the regular season in the Mid Eastern Athletic Conference. We will have the full bracket by the end of the night. We know for sure the Hawks will play on Tuesday night in the MEAC first round, either in the 7, 10, or 8, 9 game. If the 8 or 9 seed, they'll play at 6 o'clock. If they are the 10 seed, they'll play at 8.30. The Hawk women know when they're going to play as well. They just don't know the opponent. Fred Batchelor and company with a first round by is the number two seed in next week's MEAC tournament. They'll play in the quarterfinal matchup, 2 o'clock on Wednesday afternoon against the winner of the 7 and 10 matchup. Unofficially, we believe that's going to be either South Carolina State or Savannah State, two teams that the Hawks defeated handily in the regular season in this building. We'll be back in two minutes for the second half, the final half of basketball in the regular season on the Shore Sports Network and SFMSports.net. Hawks fans, improving reliability with new technology and upgrades is only part of Delmarva Power's commitment to customers. They're also helping customers can help everyone reduce monthly bills. Just visit delmarva.com slash everyone saves for more. That's delmarva.com slash everyone saves. Delmarva Power, proud sponsor of Maryland Eastern Shore Athletics. This is Dr. Walt Gianelli, founder of Your Ducks End. We are here for you and all of life's little twists and turns. Sometimes you can't plan your route, but you can get back on track again. Our medical experts at Your Ducks End are here to care for you when you need us, delivering the best urgent care. We've even been voted top provider four years in a row. Feel better, faster. Visit one of our six Eastern Shore locations today. Just walk in. No appointment necessary. Or check us out at yourducksend.com. Locations are open beginning at 8 a.m. every Every single day, 877-222-5343. Do you need a break, a getaway? Plan a visit to Hyatt Place Dewey Beach in Delaware. Lay back, relax with your toes in the sand, and unwind to the sounds of the ocean. Please your palate with a delicious meal at Cape Hasa Restaurant on the Bay while taking in the sights of a beautiful sunset. It's time to get away and make that getaway to the Hyatt Place Dewey Beach. Call 302-864-9100 or visit HyattPlaceDeweyBeach.com. Make a lifetime of memories in your own backyard at Hyatt Place Dewey Beach. That's Hyatt Place Dewey Beach on Facebook and Instagram. Training is about more 
more than muscle. It's about inner strength. So I push myself. That's why I serve in the United States Coast Guard. I train with the best. A team that shares my drive and commitment. We collect intelligence, guard our shores against drug smugglers, and keep our waterways safe. Because our nation expects more. Discover a future that exceeds your expectations. Learn more at GoCoastGuard.com. The flagship station for Maryland Eastern Shore Basketball is WTGM Salisbury. Delmar, Fox Sports 960. This is Maryland Eastern Shore Basketball from SFMSports.net. Second half coming your way from the Heights Center, Maryland leads out of the worst eight, 32 to 28. Hawks 20 minutes away from closing out the regular season on a three-game winning streak. It would boost them to 5-11 in the MEAC this season. Be at the very least a tie for 10th uh, place, depending on what Morgan State does against Coppin State. And of course, Morgan had to play the late game tonight. Say, that's exceeding, a way late game. Exceedingly late. It's <laughs> yeah. almost 9 o'clock. Uh, maybe, maybe they had a big... It's home, so they could have a big senior class or something. Maybe starting late for the Baltimore crowd, perhaps. I don't know. Maybe so. Dell State basketball to begin the second half. They'll move left to right in the second, wearing still the bright red uniforms with the Columbia blue numbers front and back and trim. Amir Bennett turns around, a hook shot in the middle of the lane over a double team, and he lays it up and in. Opening salvo of the half to Dell State. It's now 32 to 30 Hawks, 30 seconds gone by. Eastern Shore moving right to left in the second half. White uniforms, maroon numbers front and back as Gabriel Jimby lays it up and in. Arudia to get the alley-oop layup. Old school style before you could dunk. 34 to 30 Eastern Shore, 19-18 to play in the second half. Dell State Gate basketball. Here's Salik Edwards getting loose at the free throw line. Guarded Ooh. closely by Arudia, and he double dribbles. Smothering defense at the line, yeah. and Close. Edwards gives it away. Close defense have bothered Edwards uh, in this game because he walked uh, a couple times with uh, pressure defense. And a man by the Hornets. Arudia across the midway, finds Jim Fee on the right wing for the shore. Now it's Bartley straight away, and Arudia again. Zeke Taylor, top of the circle, guarded by Bauckham, skips it for Bartley. Starters on the floor for both teams to begin the half. Jim Fee, Arudia, eight to shoot. Now it's Jim Fee left corner, cuts it at the baseline, and he travels with two to shoot. Back to back traveling. <laughs> Four Hawks touched it on that possession. Ryan Andino couldn't get himself loose. <laughs> Dell State basketball. This is Buckham across the big M. DeMarco guarded by Arudia. Picks out for Kevin Larkin, who had 11.7 rebounds in the first half. Double team at the right low post. Out for Bennett at the left elbow. Inside for Bauckham, posting against Zeke. Turn around, right-handed hook off the front of the iron. Edwards juggles the rebound to himself and a fresh 30 for Red. Larkin contested right wing three. Short, Arudia swoops in for the board and gets fouled. Coach in the back by Bauckham. I think I called it on Edwards. I'm not sure. That's right, it is. Or no, it's against Bennett. Uh, Bennett. Bennett. That's the third foul against Bennett. He's for sure in great shape with fouls. He committed just four in the first half and spread out over four different lads. They better not say anything, but it has been. Yeah. Yeah, where, where's this wood I can knock on? Yeah, no. For those at home, I'm, I'm pounding on my head right now. <laughs> Is Rudy a left wing for Eastern Shore? Finds Andino, right wing, quick trigger three, oh. in and out. Larkin with a long rebound, Hail Mary, pass up to Edwards, left baseline, and he is out of bounds. Foul. Oh, or no, it looks no. like push. Oh, really? Yep, foul on yeah, Ryan foul. Andino. Brandino, 0 for 5 from the floor on senior day. It just you, aren't falling. You can't get it fall out of things. When cur- that's about the second one that's yeah. curled around and popped out. That's the point that when he makes his first, this crowd's going to go absolutely bonkers for their senior. Now we got a long two on the left wing from DeMarco. Baca. Catch and shoot from 20 feet. 34-32. Shore up two minutes into the second half. 
Arudia to Zeke, right baseline. Posting up against Bennett, bowling him inside, but he travels. They're playing on the NBA or something. Uh, they're taking that extra step. <laughs> Emmanuel Upton and observer Charles huh? mm -hmm. conversing about all the extra steps. Here's Wally at the edge of the M for Delaware State. Now Balkum with that long two moments ago. Staring down at Rudy. We try again. Tries to cross him up the left elbow. Faces a double team. Misses a floating layup as Barley slaps the rebound out to Larkin. Dell State retains possession. Now Pinky Wiley with a teardrop off the window and in. It was a strange a rebound attempt by Barley, wasn't he? He just pounded it out he like he was yeah, trying yeah. to attack a volleyball. Yeah. 34 all, three minutes into the second half. Hawk basketball. Here's a Rudy at top of the circle. Finds Andino. Edwards giving him no space to work with, and he flicks it out for a Rudy. Screen set by Taylor. Left side paint. Inside nice for Zeke there. on a pick and roll. Yes. Up and under. The layup is in. Yeah, nice pass. Nice. Good hands of our Taylor. Some good old fashioned pick and roll. 36 of 34 Hawks. 16 and change. Oh, second half. Larkin left sideline now. He's got a foul away from the basketball. I think that's on Tyler. It is on Taylor, and that's number one on him. That's good. For Isaac, Extraordinarily. He's done a great job playing without getting in foul trouble tonight. Kane and Barley checks out, and Ahmad Frost is in. Frost led the way with nine for half points on three trays. Dell State basketball, they can tie with a two, leave with a three. Here's Edwards in the right wing, Frost all up in his face. Hands it off back to Wiley. Wiley's got a three today. Crossover dribble, he loses Frost and steps into a 19-footer and in. Pinky Wiley making Frost say, Narf! Yeah, he hadn't been looking for his shot uh, the entire ball game until the last two minutes. 36 all, four minutes gone by in the second half. Here's Arudia for the Hawks, gets it to Frost. Inside for Taylor, pass deflected by Larkin. Zeke gets it back, posting up right side, double team, kicks it into the right corner for Andino. Jumps it to Jim Fee, left corner three, that's an air ball, rebound Taylor, left side yeah. layup is in. Isaac Taylor, right place, right time. Well, Isaac, own in the middle. 38-36, sure. And now Pinky Wiley spots up deep from three, and it's a natural brick. Rebound, Jim Fee. Here's a Rudy for the Hawks. Right elbow out to Frost. Ahmad cuts in, steps up, 13-footer, left wing, short. Rebound, Taylor, and Isaac slams it home. Isaac Taylor with the jam. 40-36, Hawks. 15-20 to go in the second half. Now Larkin loses it out of bounds. Hot basketball when we come back. Isaac Taylor heating up 13 points and eight rebounds. 15 18 to play in the second half. Shore up 40 36 on the Shore Sports Network and SFMSports.net. Are you thinking about renting out your house? Good choice because the rental market is red hot. And renting has never been easier, especially when you hire Renters Warehouse. Their rent estate advisors will find you great tenants, collect the rent, and take those pesky maintenance calls, all while someone else pays your mortgage. Plus, Renters Warehouse gives you 24-7 property management for one low, flat monthly fee. Go to RentersWarehouse.com and get a free home rental price analysis. It's easy, fast, and worry-free. Renters Warehouse, the professional landlords of rent estate. Let's think about customization presented by Liberty Mutual Insurance. Liberty Mutual customizes your auto insurance, so you only pay for what you need. So why aren't more things in life customizable? Like, why do I have to pay a full gym membership when I don't even use all the equipment? Like the rowing machine. I don't know about you, but I'm not doing a ton of manual lake travel these days. Go to LibertyMutual.com for a customized quote and you could save. Liberty, 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 Liberty. Coverage is underwritten by Liberty Mutual Insurance Company and affiliates. Equal housing insurance. This is Hawks Basketball from SFMSports.net. 15-18 to go in the second half. Eastern Shore leads Delaware State 40-36, and it was the Eisenhower show in that first sequence of the second half. Zeke now in two games against Delaware State has 31 points and 17 rebounds. He's gone for 13-8 and eight tonight, including that put-back slam dunk moments ago. And he's headed for a double-double. It would be his first. All he needs is two more rebounds. I think he's going to get him. He's the biggest man on the floor. 
He is off the floor right now, though, as A.J. Cheeseman subbed in for him during that last break. Hawk basketball. Here's a Rudia on the left wing. Screen side. Cheeseman and a hip check against Ronald Lucas. Brian Rudia draws the contact 25 feet from the bucket. Foul against Lucas is his second. Hawks to inbound. Send to Jim Fee and out to Rudia again. Ryan Arudia pacing around in the backcourt. Wiley tried to swoop in and steal it. Now Lucas comes over to help. Arudia dribbles to the right wing. Cross-court pump for Jimphy. Now inside for Cheeseman. Left baseline, focusing against Lucas. Spins the left. It's all in the way up. No whistle. Wiley chases down the loose ball and tiptoes inbounds. Here comes Delaware State left to right. Wiley, one on two. Gets around. Both men lays it up and in. Pinky Wiley to the bucket. Just when we think we're getting a little space, uh, Delaware State crawls back in. That's a rivalry. 40 to 38 Eastern Shore, 14 and a half to go in the second. Jim Fee left baseline for Eastern Shore, staring down Lucas. Will post up against him, left low block. Back out for Arudia now at the edge of the M. 10 to shoot. Cheeseman sets a screen for him. Arudia at the right elbow, falling backward. Inside for Cheeseman, intercepted by Red. Too many Hornets down low. Here's Wiley top of the circle. In for Buck and blocked by Cheeseman. AJ gets back, says no. Frost, right elbow, finds Arudia, left wing. Brian steps in, he travels. He could have, that's, that's the right call by the official because he, he didn't call foul to overstate. He could have called charge on us. So, uh, traveling music and uh, nobody's hurt. We can dig Willie Nelson out, out of the archives because both teams are on the road again, just <laughs> traveling around. <laughs> We've had a lot of those tonight. Hornet basketball. Here's Wiley left to right. Edwards left sideline now. Salik Edwards guarded by Andino inside for Bauckham double team. Lucas swoops him from behind, middle of the lane. Ten foot jump shot rolls off the rim and in. Ronald Lucas covers every part of the iron, gets it to fall, and the Hornets tie it again, 40 to 40. 13 and a half to go in the second half. Here's Bartley, right to left across the timeline. Sure. Jim Fee top of the circle, chest pass for Frost in the left wing, back to Cheeseman. And a hand up to Bartley on the right sideline. Kanan inside for Cheeseman, right baseline. Posting against Lucas. Turns around, jumps out for Frost. Ahmad, left corner, pocket three. Sits on the front of the iron, but he swoops in and gets his own rebound. A fresh 30 for Maryland Eastern Shore. Frost running the floor in this setup. Fighting his time at the M. Dribbles to the left wing now. Left elbow, backs out, looking inside, and said finds Bartley, who goes to Cheeseman, left low post, eight to shoot, and kicks it away. Scrum in the paint, one by Delaware State. Here's Larkin. Larkin loses the handle, picks it back up again. Jim Fee trying to steal it. Edwards, left wing three, two strong, and Dino has the rebound ripped away from him over the back. Lucas commits the foul, and that's number three on Ronald Lucas. A uh, wild sequence there for one minute. Both teams playing hard, going after the basketball. Colin Gaynor checks in for the Hawks and Zeke Taylor as well. Ryan after a quick breather in as well. They join Frost and Bartley on the floor from Maryland Eastern Shore. John Mitchell about to come in for Dell State. Arudia over the game. Trying to break up the 40 all deadlock. Arudia right sideline right in front of his coach Cliff Reed. Dump off for Bartley, right channel now. Gainer straight away. He'll dribble drive in. Left spins to his right. Double team. Lucas oh. might have fouled him. No whistle. Taylor gets it back. Now it's Arudia with seven to shoot. He's in the right wing. Guarded by Wiley. Cuts in. Takes on the entire Hornet defense and gets fouled by Lucas. And this time they do call a foul against him. And that's number four on Ronald Lucas. Well, Arudia has done that though. On possessions where the clock is running down, he takes it to the basket and usually gets something out of it. Throws a pass, or he's on the three throw line again. And he's got to the line. He's four for four today. Hawks eight of 11 from the stripe. Make it nine of 12. How about this for you, Dave? Delaware State hasn't attempted a free throw I yet. Not, I saw that. Zero for zero. So Mitchell in and Lucas out, but not before he can pick up that fourth foul. Second free throw. Perfect. 
Nine points, six assists today for the point guard from El Paso. 42 to 40 Eastern Shore, 12 minutes even to go in the ball game. Here's Larkin, left wing for Delaware State, accelerates in around Gainer, left baseline, wild catapult shot off the bottom of the backboard. Taylor there for the rebound. Here's Arudia, left wing for Eastern Shore, back to Zeke, and a handoff to Arudia again. And for Taylor, that's number 10, his first career double double at 13 points and 10 boards. Arudia, left channel. Gainer around the horn to Bartley. Ants back out to Arudia again with 10 to shoot. Hawks in the methodical offense here. Taylor, rainbow to Frost, saves it inbounds to Gainer. Spins the left low post adjust midair. Lays it off the window and in. Colin Gainer slinks and slips and <laughs> lays it in over Butler. Bennett, rather. 44-40, to 40, Eastern Shore, 11-11 to go. Make a wish. Yeah. Mitchell wishes for daylight inside, and he gets fouled by Gaynor on the shot attempt. So Mitchell will shoot two when we come back. 44-40, to 40, Eastern Shore, 11 9 to play in the second half on the Shore Sports Network and SFMSports.net. Hawks fans, improving reliability with new technology and upgrades is only part of Delmore Power's commitment to customers. They're also helping customers save money and energy with tips, tools, and programs that can help everyone reduce monthly bills. Just visit delmarva.com slash everyone saves for more. That's delmarva.com slash everyone saves. Delmarva Power, proud sponsor of Maryland. For analytics. Signs by Tomorrow is proud to be one of the founding companies of the one day sign industry. Our services include banners, trade show displays, window and vehicle lettering, decals, name tags, logo reproduction, and real estate signs. We offer free estimates, design proposals, and on site consultations. One day service is available. Let us show you what we can do for you. Signs by Tomorrow. Call 410 860 000 or visit signsbytomorrow.com. This is Hawks Basketball from sfmsports.net. 11.09 to play in the second half. Eastern Shore up 44-40. to 40. A quick peek at the Florida A&M buffoon Cookman game down in Daytona Beach. Florida A&M leads 43-42 at 12 to go in the second half. The big note from that game is Latrell Pope, 13 points, 10 rebounds. His 21st double-double surpasses Norfolk State legend Kyle O'Quinn as the MEAC single-season all-time double-double leader. So congratulations to Latrell Pope. Impressive than anyone could pass Kyle O'Quinn numbers. He's two good players. At the free throw line, Jonathan Mitchell, he's shooting two. Waterbury, Connecticut man, and he makes the first. That's the first free throw attempt for Delaware State the entire ball game, and he hits it. Meanwhile, here Isaac Taylor has picked up his first career double-double with 13 points and 10 rebounds. Kevin Larkin is one board away from his 11th of the season. Mitchell's second free throws up and in. So a belated first trip to the line for Dell State today is... Perfect. 44-42 Eastern Shore, 11 2 to go in the second half. Jim Fee takes a low pass across the timeline from Gaynor in Eastern Shore. Nearly botches the, uh, the 10 seconds, but is able to get it up nevertheless. Arudia biding his time in the backcourt, 10 to shoot now. Dribbles to the left wing. He's guarded closely by Edwards. Screens up by Zeke. Arudia now to the right elbow. Jumps out for Gaynor. Three seconds in the shot clock. Two inside to Taylor. And it's a shot clock violation. But a steal by Pinky Wiley. And Wiley left side lays it up and in. Half of the players for both teams stop playing with the horn. Yes. Wiley didn't. And he got the breakaway. Easy layup. 44-44. Ten and a half to play from the height. Here's Arudia atop the circle from Ireland Eastern Shore. Jim Fee Frost. Gainer and Taylor on the floor for White. Jim Fee left wing. Back out for Arudia. Pumps it for Frost on the right channel. Now it's Gainer, right low block, uh, high block into Taylor. Now Frost for three. Ahmad puts it in. Ahmad Frost from distance on the feed from Zeke. How about Frost? Every time they get close, he drops a three. 12 for Ahmad. 47-44 Eastern Shore. Now Wiley spots up from three and nearly gets that one to go, but Gaynor chases down the rebound. Hawk basketball, two on two. Arudia skips it now to Gaynor. Colin Gaynor, middle of the lane. It's a charge. Barrels over Pinky Wiley, who gets back for defense. 
Yeah. Fouls against Colin Gaynor. That's his third. Right. So Gaynor's the only Hawk in serious foul trouble. Right. He's showing a lot of energy out there, though. He brings he brings some energy off the bench. Colin doing a good job for Coach Reed. Berlin, Maryland native, Parkside High and Salisbury grad. It's a nice neighborhood. I live right near Parkside High. Do you? Yeah. yeah. That's, it is a good school, and it's a good area of Salisbury. I'm sure you were familiar with it for uh, uh, quite a few years with uh, with family well entrenched there. Uh, yes, <laughs> well entrenched. And it's, of course, Brian Holloman, now the head coach of baseball here at Eastern yeah. Shore, a longtime Parkside boss. Yeah. 20 years there. Here's Kevin Larkin across the timeline for red. Now it's Pinky Wiley top of the circle. Skips it to Mitchell at the free throw line. Mitchell sees daylight left side around Taylor. Missed the layup. Rebound Zeke. Arudia right to left across the midway for the Hawks. Guarded by Larkin. Steps back to the left wing. Hands off to Taylor and right back to Arudia again. Arudia at the right elbow. Stops. Overhand flick to nobody. Wow. And it's Dell State basketball. Yeah, did it look like somebody from Red got a, a fingertip on it, or was it my mind just playing tricks on me? I don't think anybody touched it. He, he threw it in the bleachers. <laughs> well, that settles that. <laughs> Still 47-44, Hawks 9.09 to go in the second half. Wiley left channel for Dell State. He'll try a three and bury it. <laughs> Take the pass to Edwards in the left wing, and then before anybody could realize, hoisted up the three and drains it. Pinky Wiley has 14 points today. Yeah. And playing well in the second half. 47-47, 8.45 to go. Here's Arudia left wing for Eastern Shore. Screen set by Zeke. Arudia cuts across the free throw line. Step back jumper, 19 foot, catches the heel. And Larkin clears it for Dell State. Pinky Wiley, right wing, fought about a step back three. Instead finds Larkin, high stepping in, left side of the lane. Inside for Bennett, pushed out. Larkin able to save it. Edwards finds Wiley left wing. Jim Fee in his face. Pinky steps back to the left wing again. He'll try the left baseline. Step back, blocked by Taylor. Zeke with a rejection. Here comes Jim Fee. Floats it up for Frost. Ahmad. Side Zeke with the flow down. Alley oop. Ahmad Frost to Isaac Taylor. 49 47. Hawks. Eight even to play from the Heitch. Taylor 15 and 11 today. How about that? And that brought the crowd back into it. Larkin stepped back from the left baseline, messed it off the window, rebound Jimpy. Here comes Eastern Shore. Brian Rudy is sprinting in through traffic. Up and under, layup, counted, and the foul! Brian Arudio with the breakaway buckets. Wiley fouls him, and Arudia has got a chance for a three-point play when we come back. Sometimes the timeout comes out at the wrong time, but Eastern Shore, that's a problem they will take. 51-47 to 47 Hawks, 7.45 to play in the second on the Shore Sports Network and sfmsports.net. The Eastern Shore is a perfect place to visit year-round. A gem hidden on the lower shore is the Henson. Located in the heart of Princess Anne on the picturesque campus of the University of Maryland Eastern Shore. The Hens is the perfect choice for campus visits, business trips, reunions, meetings, and relaxing getaways. Check into the Henson and we'll take care of the rest. Book online at umes.edu slash Henson. Pivot Physical Therapy is the leading provider of physical therapy and sports medicine services in the Mid-Atlantic region with over 200 clinical locations and providing sports medicine services to over 120 youth scholastic and professional programs. Pivot Physical Therapy is in your backyard with locations in Salisbury, Berlin, Cambridge, Easton, and Seward. Pivot Physical Therapy and Pivot Sports Medicine is a proud partner of the University of Maryland Eastern Shore, providing athletic training and physical therapy care to your Maryland Eastern Shore Hawks. This is Hawks Basketball from sfmsports.net. 7.45 to play in the second half. Eastern Shore leads Delaware State 51-47. to Will DeBoer and Dave Berg with him. Dave, if the Hawks would play Delaware State uh, every game uh, this season, Isaac Taylor would be an All-American. Yes, that's right. The, the intensity is there. I don't, because it's a rivalry game, you're, you're right. But uh, Taylor seems to flourish when uh, the Hornets logo comes in sight. 15 points, 11 rebounds for Taylor. New career high in rebounds. His first double double. He's got a couple of high-powered dunks down low. And he's 7 for 8 to the rock. 
helps when you're standing right next to it. And the one he missed was halfway down. And I just know, it went out. down to come out. Brian Arudio with a breakaway layup. He's got a chance for a three-point play after the foul by Wiley. Arudia having a fine game himself. 11.6 assists. Make it 12 and 6. 52 to 47 Eastern Shorts. Their largest lead of the ball game at five points with 7.41 remaining. Pinky Wiley into the front court for Dell State. Now Larkin, who's been quiet in the second half. Wiley left channel. Larkin hasn't scored in the second session. Mitchell left wing. Now Salik Edwards slings it inside for Larkin, steps around Taylor, and yeah. Zeke comes down on top of him. Yeah. Little pump fake that time got, got Isaac in trouble. That's just the second foul against Taylor. And but that's good. Yes, it is. Well, seven minutes left in the game, and he's only got two. Fifth foul against the Hawks, so both them and the Hornets at five fouls. One more to give before the bonus. Kevin Larkin to the line. It's his 11th double-double of the season. With Makes the first free throw, so 12 points and 10 rebounds. Isaac gets a breather. A.J. Cheeseman back in. Taylor, 33 points and... 20 rebounds in the two games against Dell State. Larkin hits second free throw, 52 to 49. It, it just feels like we should have a bigger lead the way we're playing. Right, every time I look at the clock, it's three or uh, four points. Delaware State cuts it to three. Now it's Frost in the uh, left corner, hits a three. Frost on the feed from inside. Brian Rudy. Rudy dribble drives in, finds the open man. Frost has 15, 55 to 49. Sure, seven to go. Well, there you go, Dave. It's a bigger lead than we've ever had that's right now. We, that's what we want. <laughs> Pinky Wiley on the right uh, left wing for Dell State. Picks it out for Mitchell. Now it's Larkin. Quick trigger, straightaway three. Catches heel. Jim Fee corrals the loose board. Jim Fee, three on two for the Hawks. Now it's Frost. Back at the Jim Fee. Middle lane. Stripped inside. Stolen by Larkin. And Jim Fee knocks it away. It's on the floor. And a Hawk jump ball. ball. Possession to the Hawks. Maryland Eastern Shore scrapping. This has been their brand of basketball over the last three games. And they go on the floor after the ball. A lot of jump balls. They playing very hard for Coach Reed. 6.36 to go in the season finale. 55-49 Hawks as Pinky Wiley checks out. Justin Ryder back in. Rudy to trigger the inbound as the three officials talk over something right now. Shot clock? That's, good. That's about right. Might have been. I think the shot clock ought to reset to 30, shouldn't it? Maybe not. No, well, only three seconds. Yeah. Hawks inbound. Here's Arudia in the backcourt, guarded by Ryder. Now it's Cheeseman on the right wing. Pump fakes inside, finds Andino straight away with Edwards, giving him no space to work with. Andino dribbles once, dumps it off for Arudia, left sideline. Arudia, 10 to shoot. Screened by Jim Fee. Rudy stepped back at the free throw line, flanks it to the left. Bauckham with the rebound. Here comes Delaware State. Justin Ryder. Left wing, wrap around inside for Larkin, triple teamed. Now back out to Ryder in the left corner, steps in, 18-footer, shanks it short, rebound volleyed in the air and chased down by Ahmad Frost. Great hustle by Frost. Here comes Eastern Shore, right to left, it's Arudia on the left wing, back out to Frost. And Ahmad will put it in cruise control right now. Time on the Hawks side, he's had a big game. And out to Ryan Andino for the Jesse T. Williams signature, 10 to shoot. Andino guarded by Edwards. Oh, somebody says screen for him. Andino tries to cross him up, step back straight away. Long three, and he got it! And there it is for Ryan Andino, the senior night tray. Woo, that was a deep three, too. Deep dagger, 58-49 Eastern Shore, 519 to play. Timeout, Eric Skeeters, and this should become the unscheduled media. We will step aside on the Shore Sports Network and SFMSports.net. 
your docs and urgent care has you covered from physicals to flu shots pediatrics to pneumonia strep throat to stitches whether you're on vacation or on your way to work they accept most insurance and offer affordable self-pay options use clockwise online call or just stop by your docs in has been named the best urgent care for four years in a row your docs in urgent care with six convenient locations to serve you on maryland's eastern shore whether you live here or you're just traveling through signs by tomorrow is proud to be one of the founding companies of the one day sign industry our services include banners trade show displays window and vehicle lettering decals name tags logo reproduction and real estate signs we offer free estimates design proposals and on-site consultations one day service is available let us show you what we can do for you. Signs by Tomorrow. Call 410-860-0033 or visit signsbytomorrow.com. This is Hawks Basketball from sfmsports.net. And the Diamond League. 5.19 to play in the second half. Hawks 58, Dell State 49. Eastern Shore hit 10 field goals in the first half on 27 shots. Second half, they've also got 10 field goals on 17 shots. 59% from the floor in the second half, mostly on the inside. And, and we're Two, all, yeah, sorry, Dave. But, in, but yeah. we're, we're killing them on the glass, too. 36 to 19 and only allowing them one shot. 36 to 19. And half of those rebounds are Kevin Larkins for Dell State. Amir Bennett steps around and gets fouled by Taylor at the left low post. And then he'll shoot some free throws. The Hawks on the inside in this half are 7 of 11. If the math checks out. So Amir Bennett heads to the line. Richmond, Virginia native, a sophomore. First free throw for him's up and in. 67% foul shooter. Delaware State locked into the 6-11 matchup in the MEAC tournament next week. Hawks will be either in the 7-10 or the 8-9. Second free throw for Bennett. Up and in. 58-51 Eastern Shore. 5.05 to go. Hawks five minutes away from a three-game winning streak to close out the regular season. Bartley. Isaac no, no, Taylor still on the floor. Now we'll see what happens. Say the Cheeseman and Taylor combination inside. Frost right wing, 10 to shoot. Wrap around inside for Cheeseman. Now to Taylor. It's punched out of bounds from behind by Mitchell. 445 to go in a seven-point hawk lead. Eastern Shore will have eight to shoot here. Frost. Pounds the rock. Oh, Bartley's wide open in the left corner. Cuts in baseline. Mauled in the air by Mitchell. And Kanan will shoot two. That's a good take to the basket. It gets us on the three for a long. Kanan Bartley, the one Hawk who hasn't scored, who has played today. He's improved himself quite a bit in MEAC play as well as the first free throws up and in. Bartley was the hero of the last Delaware State game. Scored the final six points in a row in a game the Hawks won by six. Bartley now 12 for 15, or the team is 12 for 15 from the free throw line. And the second free throw for Kanan rattles Good. around and in, so make it 13 of 16. 60 to 51, Hawks 440 to go. Colin Gaynor checked in during that last whistle for Isaac Taylor. Now it's Pinky Wiley to the edge of the M, pacing around, guarded by Frost, dumps it off for Edwards on the left channel. Salik Edwards been nullified today. Just six points, none since the early first half. Wiley inside for Bauckham, posting up against Cheeseman. Six to shoot, pass deflected, stolen by Gaynor. Now it's Frost. He's all alone out there. Lays it up and in. Hard Frost with the scoop and score. He's got 17. 62-51. Hawks up by double digits for the first time. Coming up on four to play. Pinky Wiley step back three, rattles around and out. Bauckham comes down with the offensive rebound, lays it up and in. Cheeseman was calling for some sort of contact. He didn't get it, though. Somebody grabbed his arm. We're just, <laughs> we couldn't take them up. They get 62 to 53, Eastern Shore, 345 to go, and Taylor's about to check in again. Hawks 
trying to win this thing by double digits. It'd be their first double digit win since the Central Penn game in November. Entry pass to Cheeseman, left side. He lays it up and in. Yeah, great pass there by Gaynor that time. A little high low action. 64 to 53, three and a half to play from the height center. Here's Bauckham on the left channel for Dell State. Now it's Edwards left sideline, double team. Cheeseman comes out to help. He's trapped. Out to Bauckham, left corner. Larkin, it's off his hands. Down low now for Bennett, who lays it up and in and one. Rough loss as a cross fouls Bennett on the way up. He'll shoot a free throw when we come back. Final 3-11 on the other side of this break. Hawks up 64-55 on the Shore Sports Network and sfmsports.net. The Eastern Shore is a perfect place to visit year-round. A gem hidden on the lower shore is the Henson. Located in the heart of Princess Anne on the picturesque campus of the University of Maryland Eastern Shore. The Henson is the perfect choice for campus visits, business trips, reunions, meetings, and relaxing getaways. Check into the Henson and we'll take care of the rest. Book online at umes.edu slash Henson. In the Mid-Eastern Athletic Conference, success for our student-athletes isn't just measured by wins and losses, points on the scoreboard, or individual stats. It's also measured by their performance in the classroom, in the community, and ultimately graduation. Our student-athletes aren't just playing to win a single game. They're playing to win at life. Because games end, but life keeps on going. The MIAC, educating student-athletes for the game of life. This is Hawks Basketball from SFMSports.net. Down the stretch we come. 3-11 to play from the Heights Center. Eastern Shore leads Delaware State 6 Hawks setting a blistering pace in the second half. 12 of 19 from the floor since halftime. 63%. They're going to be tough to beat when you're shooting that well in a half. Dell State up until about three minutes ago, was hanging tough the entire way. The Hawks got on a run, though. They've hit six of their last seven shots. Amir Bennett's at the line to try and complete a three-point play. And eight points today. And keep it at eight. That one lips out. Frost chases down the rebound. Hawk basketball coming up on three minutes to play. Ahmad Frost leading the way for the Hawks with 17 points. Five three-pointers. Isaac Taylor has 15 and 11. He has 12 points. In and out, ill-advised. Scrum for the rebound in the land of the tall trees, and the foul goes against Eastern Shore. Clock against running Jim now. Fee. Good clock running. Clock running. The clock is running. How much time ran off of that, Dave? Only six seconds. Six seconds. Six or seven. I'll we'll have to go and reset that. Too close of a game to let idle seconds tick by. DeMarco Bacham heading back to the free throw line. Now it says we got uh, 21 minutes and 60 seconds left. That's a little There long. we go. Yeah, that's uh, yeah, more than that. Yeah, they give them. Whew. That's that that new game that's coming down the line in five years marathon basketball. <laughs> Bauckham to the line, freshman from Washington, D.C. The St. Francis Academy is where he called his old home. He's shooting a one and one here. It's the eighth foul against the Hawks. Miles Carter checks in for the first time for the Hornets, a sophomore guard from Philadelphia. Eight minutes a game, two points and one rebound. First free throw for Bauckham, rattles around and in. Also, Ronald Lucas back into the game with his four fouls. <laughs> Dell State didn't get to the line in the first half. Second half, they're seven of eight from the free throw line. Great free throw shooting day for both teams as Bauckham makes them both. 
64 to 57 Eastern Shore, 2.16 to go. The Hawks trying to avoid having happen to them what Dell State suffered 12 days ago at Memorial Hall. But Frost turns it over, stolen by Mitchell. Mitchell jumps it to Wiley in the left corner. Wiley gets Frost to leap over him, kicks up for Bauckham. Left wing three, skims the rim. Long rebound attempt. Mitchell chases it down for Delaware State. Two minutes to go. Trapped in the corner. Now it's Wiley right baseline. Out for Lucas. Pumps it to Carter. Carter left baseline. Finger roll. It's an air ball. But Del State gets the rebound again. A third chance for the Hornets. And Frost wraps around and fouls Wiley. That'll put him on the line, shooting a one and one. The only good thing is a lot of time went off the clock. But Dell State had three shots out. Cross with his foul, get a breather as Kane Bartley comes in. Now it's Justin Ryder checking in for Delaware State in place of Carter. He might not see the floor for the rest of the season after that miss. Pinky Wiley heading to the line. Chesterfield High School grad in Virginia wants it a game-winning shot with four seconds left to win a state championship for Field the fighting uh, Well, he won't say The assert general will slap a warning on our program if we even mention it <laughs> Wiley hits his first free throw They'll stand on a bit of a run now. They've scored the last six in a row five in a row rather Wiley's second free throw, that's in. So now they've hit six in a row. 64 to 59, Eastern Shore, 104 seconds remaining from the height. And they're perfect from the three throw line. Well, they missed the one. I wonder what, sorry to. Did they, well, it must yeah, not have been on this stat. So. Yeah, 10 of the 11. That's still pretty good. Yeah. Yes, <laughs> exceptionally good. Yeah. I'm sure you, words, we don't want to put them on the three yeah. throw line. So, an ex coach yourself, <laughs> if someone offered you at the beginning of the game 10 of 11 from the line, you'd take it hands I'll down. I'll take it every you'd day. You'd grab those brass rings. Yeah. Hawk basketball trying to get over the timeline. Arudia pushes it to Andino on the right wing. Now it's Arudia again with Ryder in his face. Arudia dancing around the left channel, tries to get it to Bartley. Takes a hand out to him twice as Dell State was all over him, and Cliff Reed calls a timeout. The door was falling off a ledge that time, so Cliff takes a, that's a well tamed time timeout. 13 seconds on the shot clock. 126 on the game clock. Hawks up 64 to 59. On the line for the Hawks, either the uh, 8 or the nine seed potentially a win would have proven to seven and 24 this season and they finished five and 11 in the MIAC. certainly not a good season in that regard but a good finish as a win would give them three in a row to cap the regular season and, and we're playing well when you're supposed to be playing well it's all about coming together at the right time for those three or four games in March. That's correct. The Hawks are doing that. And, and anything can happen. That's why they play the tournament. Anything can happen. And the Hawks will have the lower seed most likely in their first round matchup. I think they can pull off an upset, though. Inbound to Isaac Taylor, left baseline, posting up against Lucas, bowling his way down low. Missed the layup, but gets fouled. Fouls against Lucas, and that's number five. Isaac Taylor asserting his authority down low. Lucas fouls out of the game. Two points to 12 minutes. Zeke to shoot two. 15 points, 11 rebounds for Taylor today. Plus a couple assists and a block. His career high in points to 18 set in the last Dell State game 12 days ago, and he swirls home his first free throw. Colin Gaynor in, Ryan Andino out. And A.J. Cheeseman looks like he's going to come in for defense if Taylor makes this free throw. Zeke, second shot. In. 17 and 11 for Taylor. And Cheeseman checks in. It's a three possession lead. Sorry, Dave. It's 66 59, 120 to go. And he's padding the stat sheet. and slings into the front court for Delaware State. He hasn't hit a field goal in the second half. An exact carbon copy of what we saw from him 12 days ago as they contained him in the second half. But he dribble drives in left side. It's fouled by Chico. Larkin creating offense in any way he can. 
First foul against Cheeseman, and free throws coming for Kevin Larkin. He had not taken many shots the second half, either. Larkin, this is his third and final collegiate stop. As a freshman at Cheney University, Division II uh, HBCU, was a third-team All-American by Box to Row. Average 18 points a game. Transferred to Niagara for a couple of years. And it shows Dell State as a graduate transfer, but he misses his first free throw. Taylor and Andino back in. Cheeseman to gain her out. Larkin, 11 double doubles this season. He went off against uh, non Division I Karen College back in December. 40 points and 11 rebounds. I don't care who's against, 40 points is impressive. Oh, Second free throw rattles around and in, so one of two for Larkin. 66 60 Hawks, 107 to go. Ahmad for Austin, Gabriel, Jim Fiat, Cliff Reed's got his free throw shooting lineup in the game. Four guards plus Taylor, who can shoot pretty well from the line. The inbound to Bartley, chases it down, but he steps out of bounds. Pinky Wiley forcing the issue in the corner, and the Hawks give it right back. Gaynor Cheeseman in, and Dino Taylor out as it's the offense and defense platoon for Cliff Reed late in this ball game. No time came off the clock on that turnover. And with a three ball, Dell State can cut it to one possession. Wiley flicks it in for Larkin and a handoff right back to Wiley. One minute to play from the Heights this season. Wiley on the right wing, guarded by Frost, trying to shake him. Bauckham top of the circle. Flicks it for Edwards. Now it's Wiley left wing, and he's shoulder checked by Kanan Bartley. That's the you know, more than 10th foul against Eastern Shore, so yeah. double bonus time. Pink two. Yeah, we don't want to put them on the line. Not according to what we've seen today. Pinky Wiley, what's he going to do tonight? Same thing he does every night. Try and take over the game with free throws. First shot up and out off the heel. And you know, and Jim B and Cheeseman in, Gaynor, Cheeseman, Bartley out. We've been throwing Pinky in the Brain references at you all night, and I don't know, maybe I'm in that sweet spot where I remember the show, but I don't know if our younger listeners remember or the older listeners do either. As Wiley's second free throw dances in. 66-61 Eastern Shore, 52 seconds to go, and Dell State, which was so good from the line in the second half, just two of their last four at a crucial juncture. They make both of them oh, don't that they missed, and it's a one-possession game. It's, Frost is fouled in the backcourt. Justin Ryder caught him. Yeah. One and one. You've got to be careful in that situation. It could be a referee might think it's an intentional foul. Mm -hmm. The platoon sub back in for the Hawks, and Ahmad Frost heads to the line. Seven points today, 6 of 12 shooting, 5 of 9 from three-point range. Six rebounds to go along with that. Frost has had a Cracker Jack ball game. His first free throw sits on the front of the iron, and Mitchell pulls down the rebound. Not done yet. Five-point game, 40 seconds to go. Dell State basketball. Here's Pinky, top of the circle, guarded by Frost. Step back, contested three off the front of the iron. I think Frost got a hand on it. Rebound, Jim Fee. Eastern Shore basketball. Now it's Gaynor. Foul on the left wing. He tried to get it into Cheeseman, who would have had an authoritative dunk down low. Instead, Gaynor's foul with 28.1 seconds to go. Fouls against Edwards, and if Gaynor makes these, that should just about ice it. Dell State takes timeout. a timeout. It's a full timeout. So we'll take our last break. 28.1 seconds to go. 66-61 Eastern Shore. Gainer at the line next on the Shore Sports Network and SFMSports.net. Hawks fans. For over a century, Delmarva Power has provided safe, reliable energy to customers throughout the region. That's a powerful connection you can count on from here at the shore to throughout Maryland and Delaware. To learn more, visit delmarva.com or call 1-800-375-7117. 
Delmarva Power, proud sponsor of Maryland Eastern Shore Athletics. Do you need a break, a getaway? Plan a visit to Hyatt Place, Dewey Beach in Delaware. Lay back, relax with your toes in the sand, and unwind to the sounds of the ocean. Please your palate with a delicious meal at Cape Hossa Restaurant on the Bay while taking in the sights of a beautiful sunset. It's time to get away and make that getaway to the Hyatt Place, Dewey Beach. Call 302-864-9100 or visit HyattPlaceDeweyBeach.com. Make a lifetime of memories in your own backyard at Hyatt Place Dewey Beach. That's Hyatt Place Dewey Beach on Facebook and Instagram. Final 28.1 seconds from the Hyatt Center. Eastern Shore is that time away from their third straight win. Hawks leading Delaware State 66-61. The streak started at Delaware State 12 days ago. The Hawks with a comeback win 62-56. Three days ago, they followed up beating Morgan State 78-73. And now they're on the verge of taking down Delaware State again. And closing the season on a high note, heading into the Norfolk Scope next Tuesday night. The night is set. The time slot in the seed is not. But Eastern Shore can play at a Tuesday night ball game. By the end of the night, we'll know who their opponent is and whether they'll play at 6 or 8.30. One and one for Colin Gaynor. The first free throw catches the heel and clicks out. Rebound Kevin Larkin. Dell State with a still a glimmer of hope with 22 seconds left. Larkin jumps it out for Edwards. Right wing three. Shanks it. Rebound for Mitchell. Jonathan Mitchell lays it up and in. And a timeout taken by Delaware State. 17.5 seconds remaining. 66 to 63 Eastern Shore. And a one possession game. Delaware State. They may foul again. They're on a 10 to 2 run over the last three minutes and 20 seconds. Eastern Shore is on the verge of putting this thing away, and the Hornets stung their way back in. The Route 13 rivalry, Eastern Shore on the verge of winning their fifth consecutive one against their rivals from Dover. It would be their 70th win, according to our records, out of 130 times. Arudia, Jim Fee, Bartley, Andino, and Taylor on the floor for Eastern Shore. They'll stack themselves up in a straight line between their defending three-point line and the midway. Arudia to inbound. Flicks it in for Andino. Andino fouled by Edwards, who nearly dislodged the basketball cleanly. Exactly one second came off the clock. And that was the plan. Andino on the three-foot line for Coach Reed. And Dino, a quiet senior night, just three points as Delaware State had bottled up. He's shooting two as that was the tenth foul against Dell State. One of two makes it a two-possession game. And Andino's first. Yeah. The graduate guard from Fort Lauderdale, Florida, had the chance to transfer after last year when the shoulder injury cost him all of what would have been his regular season, year season. Decided to come back and play for interim coach Cliff Reed for one more season. The second free throw is in. And Andino, an 85% three-point shooter on the season, makes them both. Yep. He subs out for Colin Gaynor, and the Hawks up by five again. 68-63 short, 16 and a half to play. They mounted Jonathan Mitchell of red. Mitchell sprinting into the front court, and he's fouled by Arudia. <laughs> Brian leaned into him, and he did. Right in front of us. Well, that's not what you want. <laughs> Double bonus for Delaware State as well. Jonathan Mitchell to the line. Watertown High School in Waterbury, Connecticut. He also went to a school called the Shooting for Greatness Academy. That's a pretty good school. <laughs> His first free throw is in. Well, there's the greatness that he uh, got himself schooled in. And they have shot it really well for the line. Dell State. 13 of 16 from the line. The Hawks 17 of 22, but they missed a few in this final minute. Mitchell, this to cut it to three again. Shots up. No good. Rebound, Bartley. Kanan Bartley comes down with the rebound. And uh, some kind of kerfuffle with the horn and the clock. Is it a lane violation? Or is it just a rebound by Bartley and there was an errant horn whistle of some kind? The clock never started when Bartley 
came down with the rebound. Someone looks like pushed the horn button instead of the time button. So the Hawks will inbound up 68-64, 12.5 to go. Arudia looking, looking inbounds to Andino. Dino wrapped around, fouled by Justin Ryder. And he's heading back to the line. Ryan Andino, 10th all-time in scoring at Eastern Shore. Updated with today's point total. He's at 1,184 points. Former Rookie of the Year in the MEAC. Once scored 31 points in a game at North Carolina A&T to kick off two years ago of the conference season as he hits his first free throw here. Hawks went 9-7 and seven in league play that year. Eastern Shore program that's been searching this spark for decades now. That was a pretty good season. Led him to a surprise appearance in the MEAC semifinals two years ago. Second free throw for Andino is in. You remember when he was here with Bakari Copeland, Dave, the one-two punch that they provided. Yeah. He subs out. 70 to 64 Eastern Shore, 11 seconds to go. Larkin flicks it in for Mitchell for Delaware State. Last gasp here. Edwards, desperation three in the left corner. Line drive is short. Larkin chases down the rebound, misses from the left double. Gainer with the rebound, dribbles out, and that's all she wrote. Three in a row for Maryland Eastern Shore to wrap up the regular season. The Hawks, 70. The Hornets, 64. Maryland Eastern Shore wraps up the regular season with a three-game winning streak. They're now 7-24 on the year. They finish 5-11 in regular season at NEAC play. And it'll fall to their results around the rest of the conference to see whether they'll be the 8, the 9, or the 10. Dell State's locked into the final seed. They finish the regular season 4-24, 2-14 in the MEAC. As uh, Freed is bringing uh, his whole team out to uh, break a huddle near the paint after their third consecutive victory, and we'll have Cliff Reed come over and have a chat with us. 70-64 to 64 Eastern Shore. He's got a little closer with free throws, the last four by Ryan Andino. And here comes the victorious Coach Reed right now. Well, Coach, here it is. Three <laughs> wins in a row to cap the regular season. Your thoughts after this one? Um, uh, um, the hats go off to Ryan Andino, a senior. He nailed the uh, clutch free throws down the stretch. It's great to see him go out this way, um, his last home game ever. And uh, the guys did a great job. They stayed resilient. We made some mistakes down the stretch, but uh, a little bit too much fouling. But uh, I'm happy with the uh, I'm happy with the outcome of the game and, and how hard we're playing and how we're competing. Yeah. yeah. And coach, uh, again, I thought the guys played really hard for you again tonight. They went at it from from the game was a game of runs, with a couple of strikes, and then. Uh, it's Delaware, Delaware State and UMS. That, that rivalry, the game seems to get close. We thought you were a lot further ahead. I look up and the, and the, and the score was still a few points. Yes, it was. Uh, it, like you say, the rivalry, and anytime you're in a rivalry game, um, you can throw the records out. And um, they came in here to play, and, and uh, we have some uh, history with, with a couple of their players. So um, <laughs> it was personal, and um, but it was clean, and it was just hard play um, from both teams. And... Uh, we're victorious, and our hats go off to the players, the coaching staff. They're really getting these guys ready to play. Stay some grit of uh, late. Uh, looking at the final numbers, if we had played Delaware State every game this season, Isaac Taylor would be an All-American. <laughs> 17 <laughs> points and 11 rebounds for him. He was unstoppable down low. Big fella had his first double-double. So, uh, yeah, that's right. And we're throwing him the ball, and he's really improving. See, that's the key. That's when we talk about staff doing a good job of getting him in the gym, working with him, yeah. and uh, giving him confidence as well. Sometimes it's just a matter of having confidence. He's got enough of skill. I told him when he learns how to do the little things consistently well, sprinting, setting screens, sprinting, rolling to the basket, ducking in hard, um, ducking in hard, uh, posting up where he can just turn and score. And then um, and he's he going to be he gonna be a pretty good player. He's, he's, he's uh, doing a good job for us. Yeah, you, you brought him a lot. He, he dominated inside, uh, especially against uh, uh, Edwards. He, he could basically size-wise, just, he just took him in. And I, I think I'm going to give you credit. That's part of the game plan. We can yes. see that sitting there. And it, it was a great job on your part to get the ball to him. Yeah. Yes, and you see his confidence grow. You see, confidence is a, is a 
confident thing. It's an unbelievable thing. When you are confident, you can do a lot of things. That's the same guy that's been playing all year, but he's confident and, and he's working. He's getting better. So, uh, yeah, we wanted to really pound him inside, and I thought we did a good job of that. And when he gets this double-double, he might get a lot more confident. Absolutely. He, he, <laughs> hey, right. the sky's the limit, and he's happy about this. We he, like he's that. elated. <laughs> and Coach uh, Custis, who was a great rebounder himself, <laughs> Yeah. He'll he gonna have to give yeah. him a, a big kudos for this. Well, <laughs> three wins in a row to cap the regular season. Uh, five wins in conference, more than last year, and getting hot at the right time. And it's all about the uh, three or four games in March, and we're playing our best basketball right before them. Yes, sir. Absolutely. <laughs> I'm, I'm elated that uh, we're playing really well. And um, you know, sometimes you know Rome is not built in a day, and you can't skip steps when you're trying to build a program and establish a foundation, and then create the culture that you want at the same time so and then the injuries were a major force but I just love the way they competed all year and refused to die and and um, that's a testimony to them young players in that locker room yeah, it's a good time to be playing well coach congratulations yeah I think people are gonna be a little afraid to play us yeah they are we're playing like with house that. money a little bit <laughs> I like that thank you yes, coach. congratulations we'll see you down thank you at the scope. Yeah. he's Cliff Reed head coach of Hawk men's basketball victorious <laughs> once again you. on senior night the Hawks 70 to 64 winner over Delaware State tonight. They finished the regular season 7-24 and 24 and 5-11 and 11 in the MEAC. Tie, at least a tied for 10th, depending on what happens in the Morgan State, Coffin State game later tonight. We're going to step aside, come back, final stats and final scores from around the MEAC, and we'll get you ready for the tournament next week. Again, your final score tonight, the Maryland Eastern Shore Hawks 70, the Delaware State Post game next on the Shore Sports Network and SFMSports.net. Hawks fans, improving reliability with new technology and upgrades is only part of Delmarva Power's commitment to customers. They're also helping customers save money and energy with tips, tools, and programs that can help everyone reduce monthly bills. Just visit delmarva.com slash everyone saves for more. That's delmarva.com slash everyone saves. Delmarva Power, proud sponsor of Maryland Eastern Shore Athletics. Pivot Physical Therapy is the leading provider of physical therapy and sports medicine services in the Mid-Atlantic region with over 270 clinic locations and providing sports medicine services to over 120 youth, scholastic, collegiate, and professional programs. Pivot Physical Therapy is in your backyard with locations in Salisbury, Berlin, Cambridge, Easton, and Seaford. Pivot Physical Therapy and Pivot Sports Medicine is a proud partner of the University of Maryland Eastern Shore, providing athletic training and physical therapy care to your Maryland Eastern Shore Hawks. The flagship state for Maryland Eastern Shore Basketball is WTGM Salisbury, Delmarva's Fox Sports 960. This is Maryland Eastern Shore Basketball, powered by SFMSports.net. Now, the postgame show. And we welcome you inside the Shore postgame show, final one of the regular season. Aside from the Heights Center in Princess Anne, where the Maryland Eastern Shore Hawks have just won their third in a row, 70 to 64 over Delaware State. Will DeBoer and Dave very with you, and Dave, that was a rather fun game once again for Maryland yeah. Eastern Shore. They dominated inside and looking quick at the numbers, a 41 to 27 advantage on the rebounding side. I that I think was where the Hawks won the game. Yeah, that's, they, they won the game inside with the big fellows playing really well, dominated on the glass, shot the ball extremely well. When you shoot the ball from inside, then you're going to shoot it very well. 60% in the second half. 60%. You're not going to lose too many games shooting that type of percentage. Absolutely. Hawks improved to 7-24 and 24 this season, 5-11 and 11 in the MEAC. And you think back to the last game they lost, three points to Coppin State where they had a lead late. This could have been a four-game winning streak. Yeah. The Hawks uh, put the finishing touches on closing out ball games and were able to come away with a win. Dell State finishes the regular season at 4-24, uh, and 24, 2 and and 14 in the MEAC. Hawks for the game shot 22 of 47. That's 47%. 7 of 17 from distance. 19 of 24 from the free throw line. 79% impressive numbers from the stripe. Dell State, 23 of 60 from the floor. 38%. 5 of 20 one from deep and 13 of 17 from the line. All those free throws coming in the second half. Leading score for the Hawks, co-leading scorers, Isaac Taylor, 17 points, one off his career high, seven of eight shooting, and a career high 11 rebounds for his first career double-double. 
Ahmad Frost with 17 points as well, 6 of 12, shooting 5 of 9 from three-point range. He also had six rebounds, two assists. 12 points for Brian Arudia, two of six shooting, but a perfect seven of seven from the charity stripe. Four <laughs> rebounds, seven assists, uh, counterbalancing the seven turnovers. Seven points for Ryan Andino in his final game at the Heights Center, including four free throws in the final minutes to put the thing on ice. Six points for Gabriel Jimphy, five for A.J. Cheeseman, four for Colin Gaynor, and two for Kanan Bartley. Rebounding-wise, we touched on this. We'll do it again. The Eastern yeah. Shore out-rebounds Delaware State 41-27, to including 10-8 to on the offensive glass. Isaac Taylor had five offensive rebounds, half, just about half of his 11. And that uh, they, they had no answer for Taylor inside in his two, num two games against yeah. Delaware State this season. 17.5 points and 10 rebounds on average. Let's see, assists now, 15 to 10 for Eastern Shore, seven for Brian Arudia. Turnovers, the Hawks gave it away 20 times, kind of hard to believe, Dell State with 10 of them. Blocks, five to three, Dell State, steals 11 to one for Delaware State. Points in the paint, Hawks won at 26 to 18. Points off turnovers, Dell State 21 to six. Points points for four points, 26 to 19 for Eastern Shore. 10 to us, 11 lead changes to close to get this ball game. The Hawks did lead for the majority 25 minutes and 10 seconds out of a possible 40 minutes in front of just over 2,000 fans. The final game of the regular season, final game in this building until November. Maryland Eastern Shore, the victorious squad, the victor. <laughs> You take your pick between verbiage, a 70 to 64 over Delaware State. Let's take a look at some scores from around the Mid-Eastern Athletic Conference. Things wrapping up just about everywhere, except for at uh, Morgan State, where they decided to play uh, a, a, late game. a late game. But this might clue us in as to what's going to happen. 15 minutes to go in the second half, Morgan State trails Coppin State 46 to 28. So a Morgan State loss means that Maryland Eastern Shore would finish all alone in 10th in the MEAC, which would lock them into the ninth seed in the MEAC tournament, which would get them to play the number eight seed, and that would be at 6 o'clock on Tuesday night. One other game just about final. Norfolk State getting more than they can handle against Howard. Bison leading 94-93 with 26 Ooh. seconds remaining. Norfolk State has already clinched the outright MEAC regular season championship, but they're trying to put Howard away for a second time. The Bison trying to win 10 games in conference and perhaps lock up, well, they will lock up a first round bye. It's just a matter of where they get three, four, or five. R.J. Cole, 32 points and seven assists in that game for the Bison, the presumptive MEAC player of the year. Yeah. They're going to be hard to handle in the uh, tournament. That may not be a good, that may not be a good draw. Yeah. Final from Bethune-Cookman, the Florida A&M Rattlers win 64-56. to Fam finishing the season with a winning record in conference. They are ineligible for the MEAC tournament. So Bethune-Cookman, if Howard wins, would slip behind them in the uh, seeding. And a couple other games in action as well, actually. Or what am, what am I looking at? I'm, I'm all over the place here. I'm scrolling down now, some final scores. Savannah State upending South Carolina State on the road, 90-87. to and North Carolina A&T bruising NC Central 74 to 52. And with that, that is the end of the regular season in the Mid-Eastern Athletic Conference. Maryland Eastern Shore, assuming Morgan State doesn't come back and uh, win their game, they would actually be the number eight seed as they beat South Carolina State in a thriller in the regular season. And it looks like if things hold and Morgan State does not come back, the Hawks will play South Carolina State as the eight seed, the Bulldogs the nine seed in the first round of the MEAC tournament on uh, Tuesday night at 6 p.m. The Hawk women will play Wednesday at two in the quarterfinal match matchup at the number two seed, so they'll play the winner of the seven versus ten matchup. We determined earlier tonight that could it's most likely Savannah State versus uh, South Carolina State. We'll have to double check on that, but I think the way the tiebreakers worked out, that is the matchup. Everything will be official by the end of the night and tomorrow, and we'll certainly know when the Hawks are playing both of their times. 
Well, Dave, that brings us to an uh, end of another regular season. Another, it's our, uh, we made it through another one. We made it. It's our third. I missed, the, I missed about, about a lot of it. But uh, but you were here oh, there, so at the end when we're playing good. How about that? Yeah. Well, we, we should have had you <laughs> in the middle of the season. Maybe <laughs> we right. have a few more wins. But <laughs> our third season together on the sidelines. It's been a pleasure, my friend. And we're hoping to see you down at the scope if you can make it, if we can sneak you in the building. Yeah. We'll try to make it. we got to see what my uh, uh, athletic schedule is. It's the Maryland State. State high school basketball tournament That's going right. on this time, and uh, I have a few uh, things to do there, so we're, we're going to see how that works. Out. How are your kids at Pocomoke looking for well, the Pocomoke is out of it, but uh, uh, Chrisfield is representing the Lower Eastern Shore, and uh, they play uh, tomorrow at uh, Havity Grace uh, against a 20-0 tw and 0 team, and uh, Chrisfield's only lost once, so uh, we're rooting for the Crabbers well, there uh, tomorrow. Have. And the Washington High girls just won tonight, and uh, they'll host. Uh, uh, Coppin Academy from Coppin University uh, on Saturday at 5. So we got uh, Lower Eastern Shore teams in Somerset County well represented in the Maryland State Tournament. Well, it's our shore and they're all our teams for That's this correct. state tournament. Uh, David Bird, appreciate it and we'll hope to have you with us next week. Uh, Steve Clendenin will be with us next week, our producer at SFM Sports throughout this season. We thank him as always for everything he does, dealing with ghosts in the machine and uh, ghosts out of the machine and really just ghosts in general. He's 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 Bill Murray essentially. <laughs> uh, oh, Steve's just texting saying he's got a root for uh, Have de Grace. It's his hometown. Is that right? Good. <laughs> well, I know that's not good. <laughs> got a root for the low Eastern Shore. <laughs> yeah. A split booth here at the Shore Sports <laughs> Network. It. But we're we're gonna get out of here now before all, all the uh, places close to to eat. But our next broadcast for sure will be. Tuesday night, and uh, barring a miracle comeback in Baltimore, it will be at 6 p.m. Actually, even with a miracle comeback, it will be at 6 p.m. as... Uh well, we're just going to say 6 p.m. and right. leave it at that. Most likely, the eight-seeded Maryland Eastern Shore taking on ninth-seeded South Carolina State. The winner will go on to face the number one seed, Norfolk State, in the quarterfinals, which I believe are the next day. The Hawk women's basketball team is the number two seed in the MEAC. Will face the winner, most likely, of South Carolina State, Savannah State, in the quarterfinal matchup Wednesday afternoon at 2 p.m. We'll have the pregame shows for you 10 to 15 minutes prior for both of those. Uh, check EasternShoreHawks.com and check all the Twitter accounts for updates as uh, things, of course, subject to change at the scope with all the games going on before and after. But we are heading down to the Norfolk Scope. It's time for March, everybody. On behalf of Dave Bird and all of us here from the Hydra Athletic Center, this is Will DeBoer saying so long and a very pleasant good evening to you from the Eastern Shore of Maryland. For one final time in this regular season from here at least. Your final score once again, the Maryland Eastern Shore Hawks 70, the Delaware State Hornets 64. This has been Hawk Basketball on the Shore Sports Network and sfmsports.net. This has been a presentation of Hawks Basketball from sfmsports.net.